you guys right now are up here, um, which is near the Amethyst College. And you had just kind of gone around town. So the red dot is where you're going to be doing the ritual. The green dot is plot B to where if the Amethyst Wizard fails, you're going to recruit the Jade Wizard, Guillaume de Champ, and uh, he's going to do his ritual where one of you basically <laughs> could make it happen. <coughs> the blue circles are the places that you have set up alternate um, alternate places of things to happen. So um, we've got one here, one here, and one here dotted around town. Um, all in the hopes that anybody that's trying to find the dagger and stop you may fall into one of those locations instead of the one you're at. <coughs> okay, um, so with that, um, do you guys have any last minute plans or anything you want to like, do? Clarify, this is the one where the guards were going, right? Correct. The Because um, we wanted them closer to us in case something went wrong? Yep. Well, okay. you had um, Priests of Sigmar going here, I believe. You had Ulrichian Priests going here, over to this side. Okay. okay. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, the only thing you know with this ritual, um, basically, is it has to start at dawn and ends at dawn the following day. So, um, the... Wizardess um, is ready to do this as and when you guys are. So um, it's really up to you if you want. If there's anything else you guys need to do or want to do prior to sneaking under the cover of night into your place and getting everything ready to start the ritual at dawn the following day. Um, I. I don't have a lot of money, but I, I would like what before this what? starts to maybe go shopping. Renchan Kitty, thanks for the resub. <laughs> Take pants off it. Hi. Um, I would I would love some head protection. I would love to get a better helmet. I'm just wearing a skull cap. And I want to go visit with Hannah because I might die tonight. Okay, <laughs> good idea. <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. I've got 25 gold pieces. I don't know if that's enough to buy a thing. Um, I mean, well, I have all of Matthew Bain's money. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. If you need some. I heard, yeah. So, that's so you're wanting to buy like a chain coif? Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, the good thing with chain coifs is they don't really have to be like molded and made to fit you like a plate mail does. So um, you can definitely find one of those here in town. Um Kind of skimp <coughs> because I don't like I don't I don't you know I just don't want to get hit in the head bad. Oh come on! Now. <laughs> I yeah, mean I, I I Satch I will remind you that you almost died to a leg wound. Oh god, you're ago. right. Shit. I don't know if leggings could be purchased as well. Um, um, again, as long as you're dealing with like the chain variety. It's really yeah, only it... plate mail that has to be kind of manufactured okay. to fit unless you're really lucky. Um, so a chain mail coif for the head is 20 gold. Um, and mail leggings are another 20. So you'd be looking at I would have to borrow 40. from some people. Because uh, I'm at 25 total and silver. I have, t I have 17 silver. Yeah, however much you need. Okay. Uh, pretty and, much um... he needs 40 gold. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just need the other Because uh, he's kind of broke. I have, you, you I have 25 gold crowns, and I need another 15 to make it 40. <clears throat> All right, I'll give you 20. Okay. So I have the 40 pass, I'll have five left over after buying it. Unless somebody wants to help me haggle. <clears throat> I don't know how to haggle. I will go and help haggle. Okay. Please. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, you were fishing for that, so I'll go. <laughs> I, I think he might have been. It's entirely possible. I mean, possible. I don't have a good haggle score, surprisingly. Uh, well, uh, go ahead and give us a haggle roll. See I'm how trained well you in do. it, but I bet yours is still better than mine. <laughs> oh, almost definitely. Oh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> yours is 31. Uh-huh. That's twice what I got, though. Mine's 26. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so it's not going to happen. It's no, fine. I mean, it, it's a big city, and they're guaranteed to sell this stuff, so it's like, yeah, they no, don't. we're not really uh, in the not in the mood to do extra special deals, especially for okay. you elves. Um, yeah, that would put all of them up <coughs> to six instead of four, which is a lot better. It's just a lot better. Those extra two wounds that I wouldn't be taking, you know? No, it's two that you can... Yeah, it's two... Um, two points off of every blow to the legs or the head. So that puts me down to five gold coins. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, yep, well, that'll, um, that'll take care of some of your time, for sure. Um, Spook, you said you wanted to head northwards... Yeah, I'm going to pick up some chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> to Max, Max's establishment. and uh, Just go spend some time with Hannah. Okie dokie. Um, give me a charm roll to see how, oh, that, God. how that goes. <laughs> uh, I'll give you plus oh, 10 because, you know, chocolates. That's oh. not going to help much. <laughs> the challenge can't be that bad. You already hit it no! off. Uh, so... She was busy. <laughs> <laughs> she's on a diet and she's insulted by the fact that you brought her chocolates. <laughs> They're dark chocolates. <laughs> so um, They have antioxidants. <coughs> They're good, good for your skin. Good for you. Yeah. Well, okay, by that, um, well, you brought her white chocolate. You know? Oh, God. That's <laughs> why, she, why it fails, you know? <laughs> uh, is there anything else anybody plans to do today before... Um... I'm going to head to the site early, as everyone's scattered, so I don't have to sneak in later. I kind of just, you know. Okay, um, sure. Go mm -hmm. ahead and give oh, me shit. a dice roll. Uh-oh, what dice roll am I giving? Uh... Well, you know, you're not, um, the, uh, stealthiest individual in the history of the world ever, and should there be people following and watching for you guys, um, so, um... Yeah, you I can. Have, um, I, I have butter. <laughs> okay. Do you, you have drop toast? It and Do you have hot toast? It. it makes it worse. <laughs> okay, what am I rolling, Gore? Um, yeah, give me a silent move roll. Oh shit! Well, oh, actually, wanna, no, like... not not silent move. Concealment. Give me concealment because it'd be more about you not being seen than not heard. Okay, cool. <laughs> So hopefully nobody saw you go to the site and give the game away beforehand. Let's hope not. Well, I mean, it would be like I would be rolling this anyway later. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're getting all the bad rolls out of the way now, right? That's how it works, right? Roll twenty. <laughs> that's totally. Sounds legit. like we're gonna have to fight the crimson skulls, and that's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so, I don't yeah, know you're heading over there early. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, Sorry, it's, it's an abandoned building. Um, and basically what she's told you is, um, you know, there's a cellar down to the basement. Um, the basement kind of butts up to, you know, you're real close to the river and all that sort of stuff. Um, and um, there used to be like a sewer or well, there is a sewer that kind of runs behind the wall, um, which is how they kind of, why they particularly use this place, but it's all since been sealed up and secured. Uh, and the basement is just a big, empty stone basement with four pillars and plenty of room to paint a big ritual circle on the floor and do all the things that need to be done. So that's the game plan. Well, it's a it's a spoiled game plan. Sorry, team. Uh, I've already <laughs> not necessarily. Oh, yeah. It's not like we put effort into it or anything. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so nobody else has anything else you really want to do, or do you? Old Dad's probably just going to make sure that our decoys that look similar in like size to us are ready to go. Okay. And set up. That's it. All right, so you actually want. So you actually want some decoys of yourselves, like people yeah. dress like y'all, size like y'all, to head into oh, yeah. these places as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that that might make it a little. That's a bit more complicated. That was. I thought that's what I did yesterday during the city. Whenever we were, I was running around the city, um, finding people like of the same size as us, so that they could run to another place. Maybe not you, fully dressed up, but when you say you finding did. people, you mean like strangers, or. Yeah, kind of. Like, people who would just go to a place and take some gold coins to go to a place for the night. Okay. Yeah. I guess I missed that part. I was thinking that you were just working with, like, the priests of Ulrich and the priests of Sigmar. Oh, no, I wanted to have, like, some, like, almost decoy-like people. Like, just a group of four people, gotcha. roughly sized the same way as us. I'll pay them, um, get them out so that they can go to a different location in case somebody sees somebody. Gotcha. Bobo Primes. <laughs> I'm trying to create as much confusion in the city as possible. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, well, in that case, then, um, you can go ahead and give me a charm roll. Okay. How much, before you roll it, how much gold are you paying these people? <laughs> Bear in mind, you need three groups of people, right? Well, I was thinking one or two groups. Okay. Because I we have the priest going to one like we have different people dispersing. Yep. This would just be to give like credibility to one or two of the buildings that don't have people already going to them. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So just Old like a couple of and every single priest of <laughs> So how yeah, I... so how much gold are you gonna bribe these individuals to go along I'll... with this? I'll give one gold to each person, so four to each group. Okay. Um I'll give you for a for a gold. I'll give you a plus ten on your charm roll. Sweet. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, you seem to find several people that are willing to go along with this for a bit of easy gold. I have taken <coughs> the gold out of my inventory. Alrighty. Okay. Um, anything else you guys want to do? No, we're good. Okay. Um, well, it was arranged that you would go um, and send a message via um, an initiate to Conrad Mesner, and he would show up and deliver you the dagger, but only wanted to do that right before you were ready to go off and do what it is you want to do. So I'm guessing um, in the early wee hours of the night before dawn, as soon as the ritual has to start at dawn. Mm -hmm. Yes. How are we looking on healing drugs, by the way? Uh, don't know. I have, I have three. Oh, so okay. you're okay. You got a few. It says I have two, so. Yeah, I have three. All right, well, that's five. Just remember, don't wait until you're below four wounds to take them, because they don't do shit once you're down there. Mm -hmm. I thought it was three. Um, That's four in my notes. Yeah, four. Three is okay, where it so starts four to be. Or above. Yeah, uh, four or above, correct. Got it. Okay, that uh, makes just sense. Just in terms of, because we've never really done one successfully, because that's a hell of a caveat. Um, <coughs> does it take a turn to use the healing? Uh, it takes an action to drink okay. it, yes. Okay. So basically, it's. You know, it's kind of like it's a pick me up. Once you're down to where you're considered wounded, like actually injured, which is three or below, it can't really do a lot for you. So it, it's good at just topping you up if you're kind of, you know, a little bruised and a little a little battered yeah. up. So okay. it, the the strategy is to not save them for too long. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we, we leave a note and for Conrad to come like an hour or two before dawn, right? All righty. Um, well, in that case, um, 
yeah, when you guys are ready, um, the Sigmarites head out, the Ulrichians head out, your decoy groups head out, um, all trying to act inconspicuous while not being particularly inconspicuous um, to make sure that they are visible. Um, and in the early wee hours of the evening, then, you guys will end up here. <coughs> okay. Go ahead and put you guys on the map. With the Amethyst Wizardess. Okay. Um... Let me see here. Where's my audio? Okay. All right, you should all be on that map. Yes. Yep. yep. All right, so um, Gazrielle Marsner, she's carrying like a big bag of stuff with her. Um, she will walk down to the chamber, um, go around these little tables and set out um, candles and get them kind of burning, which gives you a kind of dim, eerie kind of glow. Um, it's still very dark down here, but it is, you know, enough to be able to visibly see what you're doing. She will come to the center. Uh, one of the things that she has with her is a big, ornate glass mirror. Um, so she kind of calls all of you to kind of gather around and, um, so she can explain the ritual. So she says that, well, first of all, we have to put a summoning protection circle on the floor. Once this is done, I have eight silver arrows, one that will be placed at each compass point. The dagger will then be placed in the center. Once the ritual is cast, I will be sitting to the south of the dagger, inside the circle, concentrating and meditating on the ritual itself. All you have to do is wait. Should anything happen, and should any intruders come charging down the stair, it is imperative that you stop them from interrupting the ritual. The ritual can be interrupted in a number of ways. Fun. If they should erase the circle, or any part of the circle, causing it to be no longer complete. Two, if they are able to injure or kill me to the point that they are breaking my concentration. And three. Um, three would be to remove the dagger prior to the conclusion of the ritual. As I have said, this ritual will take a full 24 hours. As the ritual take place at key moments I will be locked in a mental battle with the entity inside the dagger. Should the dagger be victorious in these battles, it will fragment my mind and quite possibly will leave me clinically insane or brain dead. Thus is the risk. Should this happen, unfortunately, the 
entity will remain inside the dagger. And all will be for nothing. I hope you have bought provisions and uh, things to keep you active and uh, awake for 24 long hours. I spent most of the day resting to try to prepare myself for this as best as possible. But if the ritual is concluded correctly, the chaos spirit bound inside the object will be destroyed. Or at the very least, dispersed. Um, does anybody have any questions? <coughs> no? <laughs> We then we will begin. A, a little fire pot, because I could boil some of my attack rations, and we could have a nice little biscuit. <laughs> All right. Um. Yep. So she will begin, and put a intricate circle here on the floor. All that's gonna step out of that circle. Yep. <laughs> um. And she will place the dagger of Yol Kachum. I'm going to position myself <coughs> up here so I can hear if somebody starts to approach. Okay. Are these pillars, you said? Yes. Well, that's going to hide behind the one back here so she has cover and can shoot at range at anybody who comes in the door. Alrighty. That will probably also keep watch up here. These uh, these stairs that these uh, these two are standing on, is there like a railing you can like, leap down over onto this table from above? Or? Uh, there is no railing. So it's it's like a you know a wall basically, right? Um, yeah, it's like a little half wall that slides down the side. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna lean against this pillar at the base of the stairs. Alrighty. So here's how this is gonna happen. Um, the way that the ritual will occur is there will be a willpower test made by her every three hours. Um, once all of those have been done, <laughs> we'll find out if, uh, she succeeds or fails the ritual. Um, so there are eight rolls. However, it gets progressively harder and harder as the battle continues and she gets mentally more tired. Um, because ultimately, those dice rolls are what is going to determine a lot of your success or failure. I'm not making them. You guys are. Um, so, and, and, and the idea is, if she fails to <coughs> roll, we have to re-roll until she succeeds. Correct. Right? Like, so, every every time she fails a roll, she gains an insanity point. As you know, six insanity points equals an insanity. So... Um, yeah. And the insanities don't hit until after it's all over. Correct. Be it interrupted or successful. Correct. Right? Yep. So she could um, be absolutely batshit by the end of the night. She yes, could be like, mentally brain dead, yeah. Yeah, easily. She could, could be a vegetable or a cabbage. Like 18 insanity points, that's, you know. Yep. You know no pressure. Three insanities. That's right. All at once. Um, yes, indeed. So, uh... Oh. So everybody's positioned themselves where they feel like they need to be. Yeah. Yeah, with my elf ears pointing outward. Glad to know you feel confident in us, Prepper. <laughs> uh. Okay. She begins the ritual. Um, so basically she sits there holding this glass mirror in her left hand her right hand extended kind of towards the dagger as she does that and begins to mutter arcane words under her breath you see little purple entrails like or um entwined little s s coils of mist going from her fingertips from her out out outstretched hand to the dagger itself as this happens you notice that from the center of the dagger, a dark red mist rises up to meet them. And what I then what then kind of begins to happen is the red mists and the red entrails are pushing one way and the amethyst entrails are pushing the other. 
Um, so it's almost like you can physically see this battle of wills begin to happen as the demonic entities pushing its will towards her, trying to break through, and she's doing the same. Um, <coughs> okay. All right, mm -hmm. let's, uh, I'm praying to Ulrich to give her strength and make her steadfast. Okay. You just hear cattle roll in the corner going, Blessed Sigma. <laughs> Blessed Sigma. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We begin the ritual. All right, so as I said, there are going to be eight <laughs> roles. Um, who would like to volunteer to do the Me, first a, roll at the end of three time. hours? Okay. Um, then the first just, one is yours. That's just taking the easy roll. Oh. Well, but you got to remember, <laughs> if he takes an easy roll now, he's going to have a tougher roll come back around later. Uh, well, the good news is, we being should go that a way in the master <laughs> wizard, she does actually have a willpower of 69. Nice. Oh, that's actually much better nice. than I was thinking. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> first things first, Satch, you get to make the first willpower roll. However, as it is the first one, it is easy. She is fresh. Her mind is clear and sharp. Um, you get a plus 30. I swear Whoa. to God, please don't roll. <laughs> she, like, so, uh, you can coffee. only fail on a zero zero on the first roll. Don't, so don't, I'm, don't, why would you say that? <laughs> so I'm going to have to put a... it out into the universe to make it a thing. Don't Wait, manifest. can we use our rerolls on these? So <coughs> no. Is that allowed? You cannot. Dang it. Is there, is there, is there a good your way? Roles. Is there a good way to, um, like, I guess macro this? Because I'm just thinking. I mean, you can do R, slash 1D100 R1 R1 100 plus, 100 plus 30. Yeah. Oh, plus but 30 is, would is make it Is it plus 30? Higher. Make it higher. Minus 30. Minus 30. So you would want to, um, well, no, you you would just make the dice roll, but you're rolling under the target was ninety would be ninety nine. Okay. Because you well, so oh, this is basically crap. just because you got her sixty nine okay. and you're adding thirty to it, right? So, got it. Unless this is a hundred, which here we go. <laughs> well, we go. Uh, I was about to say prior to that, uh, the good news is you succeed. However, uh, there's one roll that I have to make. Uh, oh no! Or somebody no. has to make. No, no, see, you said um, we got <laughs> That's not... <laughs> Damn it. This is the are we discovered role, isn't it? No, no, uh, it's because... What do you have to do with any spell or ritual before you start doing it? Oh, the... Oh, the You've actually got to cast it first. Um, so... Uh... That's anyone want to... spell cast. Anyone want to do the spell <laughs> cast role? Oh, I'll do it. I love, I love casting spells. Okay. <laughs> um, well... Um, so the first thing is, um, the casting number to succeed is 18. Um, she has four magic points, so you get 4d10. But of course that means there's good chances of doubles there. Actually, Shaggy, you're the only one who knows how to do oh, this. Oh, no, 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 don't. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 And her intelligence you, okay, okay. Shaggy, is Shaggy, 56. I fail more than I succeed. You, I you. think you should do it, Shaggy, because you understand the mechanics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to do a spell. You've got magic points of four, intelligence of 56, and the casting number is 18. Um, of course, now you don't have to roll all four. You can just burn three. But this is potentially the biggest spell of her life. <coughs> she will also point out to you, failure to cast this ritual can be excruciatingly painful. God damn it, Gore. All right, so do you want me to set up a spell macro for this, or should I just roll forward? I mean, no, you won't, there is you'll a... only need to do this one one time. Right, so I just roll 4d10, right? Because she will be using all four, because it is very yep. important. Uh, her intelligence is 56. So, does she want to channel or do anything like that? Well, she's obviously going to channel. Oh, I mean, that, that would reduce the target number by four if she succeeds in the channel, right? Because her magic characteristic See, is four. You say it like that, Shaggy, yep. but you gotta remember I wasn't going to channel, I was just going to roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh well, she yeah. fails her channel. Okay, then. Oh, uh, that's a d- good. Then cast the spell. Good things are happening. How many dice she want? <laughs> oh, she's using all four. Okay, roll forty-six. Eighteen is the target. Wait, forty, forty, ten. Forty, ten. Oh, sorry. Eighteen is the target. Yes. Oh shit. And, and, yeah, doubles are bad. Ones are bad, because ones is instant insanity And doubles points. are bad. And doubles are chaos manifestations can happen. Triples, or quadruples... Are even worse. Are even no. worse. Yes. Oh, but fuck the me! The this... number is huge, and the average <laughs> is five of these dice, so... All right, ladies <laughs> and gents, let's fail early and now. <laughs> so, Here uh, we go! Here we go. The rest of the stream is deciding who will die. Oh, oh well, that was actually oh, ideal. Oh, that's as good as that could have oh. been. Uh, you, can't, you succeeded oh. by one, and you didn't get a single one or a double. Congrats. The spell Woo. cast successfully. Okay. Um, so that's a, that's a great start. Great start. Uh, incidentally, for every point you would have failed, she'd have taken a wound. I love how... The, the, just the difference in systems I'd like to acknowledge. Nothing has really happened. And we're all shitting our pants. <laughs> now, now, Satch's roll still counts, right? Yes, yes. She rolled so, before me. Uh, we okay. roll the casting of the spell, the spell cast, and you continue to watch. But as you do so, towards the end of the first three hours, she is pretty much like the purple entrails are pretty much almost touching the dagger. Like there's next to no red pushing back against her. And after three successful hours of meditating and mental combat with the spirit inside the dagger, um, she passes her first roll. Another three long hours passes. Who wants the second roll? Second roll is made with a plus 20. I'll go. Okay, um, so you need to roll under an eighty-nine. Okay, you start you to notice that the red is starting to fight back. The, you know, the, the the red mist is kind of fighting its way up and starting to overcome some of the purple. At one point, it almost gets all the way to her fingertips. But then you notice her kind of frown and grimace and push back, and she manages to kind of push the red energy back further down um, to regain a, the advantage. Awesome. Six hours. Time for another roll. Who wants right. the third one? This one is made with only a plus 10. All right, so what's it got to be in? <coughs> 79 or below. Whoa. Awesome. Congrats. Um, that's three rolls down, nine hours. Um, by now, you started at dawn. It is daylight up and above somewhere in the world of the old world. As people go about their day-to-day lives unaware that locked down in a basement is a battle for someone's very soul and sanity. Another three hours passes. This roll is dead even 69 percent see i know how this is gonna go see i'm gonna roll and fail like i just feel it in my don't bones. manifest it you got it well it seems like gonna... it's your roll shag it so uh six, 69 right 69 dude you've got it you're gonna succeed <laughs> yeah. yeah that's right i'm gonna succeed absolutely got this. Do, it, do it do it Perfect. Yeah. Roll. all righty that's the best it could have been so it's going well. It's going well. So we get one less roll, right? Because it's yeah, a one, and that's a like one. That's that was 20. a success. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not giving you anything, you idiots. Oh. <laughs> um, congratulations! You are halfway through the ritual. Perfect. Oh. Another three hours, which will take you up to somewhere around lunchtime. This 59. roll is made at minus ten. Um, means you have a fifty-nine. Um, this one would go back around to be um, batch. Can I give her like a bite of my bagel sandwich before this? <laughs> uh, well, would you think that that might cause an interruption? Oh, oh shit, you're right. Okay, I'm just gonna How run. good is it and or bad? All right. All right, 59. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Good roll. Okay. 
Well, for somebody that seemed very unconfident about her ability to cast this ritual, she is doing remarkably well. Um, things are looking good. So things are far. looking up. <laughs> so, so uh, Nat, I believe you're next. It's a minus 20, so you're now 49. Oh, Christ. Oh, and there's no. the okay. first <laughs> failure. It's okay, Nat. It's okay. All right. She gains an insanity point, and you roll again. Are we keeping it with me? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's cruel. It's, it's absolutely cruel. Ooh, and another oh, failure. No, no, that's no, no, two no, no. insanity points. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. She finally succeeds. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so two insanity points and six rolls made. Okay, hey, but my argument is, isn't she already, like, two insanities in? She, like, is willing to do this ritual. Uh, she's obviously not completely sane to be willing to take the risk on in the first place. <laughs> um, alrighty. So, uh, Big Spook, you were next. Yeah. <laughs> this one is at minus 30. Which means you have a 39% chance of succeeding. Oh, Another God. insanity point. Roll again. Okay, it's okay. Huh? We're supposed to fail these. <clears throat> Another insanity point. Roll again. <sighs> Success. Whew. Good job. You know what this means, guys? It's Shaggy's turn to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm, Good I'm deal. Well, um, be you've been down here 21 long hours. Um, you've seen little kind of like whimpers and sighs and cries from her on occasion as the red hits her hand and you see like a blast of this red energy blast throughout her whole body. But she somehow each time manages to push it back out of her body and back down into the dagger. Another hour passes. Another hour passes. It is now 23 hours. There's only one more hour to go. Suddenly, <laughs> you hear some strange rumbling coming from the chamber itself, the room. Um, I'll allow each of you to give me a perception skill roll. It is an audible roll, so if you gain any advantages due to good hearing, you can add that. <laughs> Bertilda is clearly fixated on the top of the stairs. Um, oh. As is oh. Nat Matthew Bain. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he may hear it. Uh, and last but not least. Yeah. Nope, just Matthew Bain. Okay. <coughs> okay, Matthew Bain. Um, the sound, even though you're underground, seems to be coming from kind of behind you to the wall over here. Okay. I'm, immediate, I'm immediately going to round this pillar to look at the wall, and I'm going to say, Katara, Fertilda! I hear something is coming from this way. North wall, north wall. Until they get in position. What? Okay. You know exactly <laughs> what that means. We've talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> we planned oh, this gonna... in depth. No, we didn't. Uh... She's going to shift and draw an arrow. Okay. Yeah, All right. I've got an arrow knocked. And you begin to hear. The center of the wall. Skaven. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm going to cast a spell. Okay. Oh, wait. Well, as it's getting closer, um, it's a lesser spell just to give me... Um, oh, so first I have to channel. I mean, it's an easy spell. It's nothing big. It's okay. just a... Uh... Oh, okay, so I fail. I'm not going to re-roll because it is an easy spell. Okay. Um, uh... What are you casting? Kind of success. Uh, I'm casting uh, Aetheric Armor. So okay. I want to make sure this goes off. So Give I, me some I ones, extra... please. Or doubles would be nice. No. Oh, oh, Jesus. Well, I am using both <laughs> my characteristics because I'm not Double. crazy. Double. 
Ah, Gore, boo. Gore, don't, don't, don't jinx me, please. Ah, boo. Okay. A 10 and a 1. <laughs> yeah, 10 and a 1. So that's a 1. Willpower one. test. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, you need a willpower test to not pick up an insanity. Okay, okay. Okay, you're good. You managed to not go slightly more crazy. Good job. <laughs> <coughs> okay, uh, so you successfully cast Etheric Armor. Um, basically I... gives you one point of magical armor for six rounds. Well, it's magic characteristics, so that's two. But yes. Oh, um, yeah, correct. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yep, two. Okay. Um, at this point, it's now pretty obvious what it is. Somebody is busting through the wall from the other side. Oh, fucking great. However, um, is there an echo in this chamber? Uh, let's check. Go ahead and give me another perception score roll, everybody. Oh, God. Uh, let's... <coughs> Dang. Oh, no, three. Okay. Okay, um... Yeah, you... Did mine roll? Uh, Matilda, yeah, you got a 37. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, sorry, you got an 81. 81 on a 37. Um, all right. Um, so, yeah, cattle roll. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that the first time that I rolled, though? Uh... No, because that was... No, because uh... this is after Matthew Bang cast his spell. Oh, I see it up there. Okay. Yeah. Wait, um... I rolled an 81 twice? What yes. is this? Get <laughs> yes. them all out of the way early. <laughs> <laughs> Spook, all right, good. so good. Um, everybody else, it's really hard to tell because there's echo going on down here as well, right? Because it's like... Um, however, Cadorel notices there's something uneven about the echo. And then he realizes the echo doesn't always seem to follow the exact same time pattern. He kind of like squints and puts his hand to his ear to listen more carefully. They're coming from the other wall. Then he's sure. Yeah. There's also oh, God, somebody coming through oh, this oh, wall there. here okay. as well. Um, at that point, I'm going to be like, uh, Bertilda Matthew Bain holds your end, and I'm going to run by <coughs> Aldette, and he'll be like, Aldette on me. Um, and I'm there! <laughs> all the way up to like this pillar and have my... Um, basically... I don't know the logistics of this. <coughs> it's a hand axe and a shield. Uh -huh. uh, it's a buckler. Can I hang the buckler over my wrist, hold the bow, draw an arrow, and then dangle <coughs> the axe from my hand so that I can drop the bow after firing a shot and take guard? Is that possible? I've um, seen it. I, I would I've say yes. It. I would say <laughs> yes. I mean, you obviously, it would be very difficult to juggle, but juggle between the two. Yeah. But if you want to kind of like be able to shoot let the bow grow and then just kind of like flick your wrist to kind of like reposition the buckler. Yeah, I, I'd say we could okay. do that. It's pretty badass too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, feels, it feels like a good maneuver. Alrighty. I've done um, it once before. I'm just going to have my bow ready still. I'm going to be I don't know aim. why I thought we could just do eight rolls and be done with this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what I did sort of finale could. would that be? I did oh. everything I could to give us as much time as possible. Well, and... I took all of your planning into consideration on this very heavily. Um, oh, so um, all I will work. tell you is it certainly paid off okay, to good. some degree. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was they they followed me and I was the giveaway. <laughs> it was like, yeah. where are they going? Where are they going? We've got no. Oh wait, that's one yeah, of them. I would much Let's rather see where he the goes. Last minute. Oh, <laughs> he went there. I think that's no. Um, all right. Well, it actually takes about another. 15, uh, 15 minutes or so. Oh, shit. Okay. So you're going to have to recast your spell. Um, yeah. But eventually you notice that you see little bits of rubble start to drop from the walls. Ooh. Can we shoot through the uh, It's very small at this point. Um, and at that point, it stops. I kind of wish that we had set up some kind of messaging system um, to call for I'm going to run up to the point. tiny hole on my end with my shield and just block it off, actually, in case they're looking to shoot a small arrow through. Okay, so you want to, like, go and put your shield up against my, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and it be would like, be about Bertilda, here. get in the way. Of what? The little holes. 
On what side? Where it's coming from? The north side. The north side. You're, yeah. you're on north. Oh, here? So, like the, yeah, the, there's like little tiny bits of rubble broken away about here. But then it all stops. Okay. They're, um, they're going to, oh yeah, that's our dead anniversary throw. Are you going knock to- knock us all down. Uh, do you want to recast your spell, uh, Matthew Bain, or no? I guess I do. Okay, uh, go ahead. Yes. Um... <laughs> And I'm gonna brace myself in case they come in like really strong. You successfully nice channel. channel. I love when you channel. I love the way you channel, Shagged. I channel really well. You channel <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm only doing one dice this time because my channel is a success. So I just have to roll three or higher, guys. What could possibly Don't, go wrong? Why would you say that? Because All I have to do is. Okay. Okay. Fury test 100. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what we don't All right. Uh, yeah, the... See success. You get your spell back up. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, Spook uh, and Matthew Bain, you guys are standing here like eyes glued at the small little tiny indentation here. Um, Catarell has run all the way up and has put his buckler against it. Are you like braced against the buckler or is the buckler just kind of like covering the hole? Yeah. Well, at this point, I'm probably bracing. I'd have shouldered my bow running up and switched over to okay. just hand weapons. Um, and what is Aldette doing? You... I am trained on the position, ready to aim. Like, I'm trying to aim at whatever comes through first so I can fire immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other than the faint quiet mumblings coming from the amethyst wizard everything has gone eerily quiet oh good that's probably and then the silence is broken as a humanoid voice screams loudly from the northern wall um Now, Wolfgang Schnacht will not accept any failures. Oh, fuck this guy. And you hear <laughs> suddenly weird clippy cloppy footprints or. Oh, uh, beast men. Oh, they're beast men. Um, oh, they're adorable. You hear a loud, kind of like a horn, and the, the bellowing of what sounds like a ginormous bull coming from both directions um before whatever is about to happen happens what does everybody want to do you have basically an action to prepare what you want before it happens do you want to so Catarell, do you want to stay where you are or do you want to back up <coughs> be a real tricky call here because if i back up i'll be able to do more damage if i don't back up i'll be able to prevent them killing her instantly Mm, back up. I think yeah, I'll back, back up. up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll I'll back up to like about here. Okay. Still shield and axe. I'm ready. I can't do shit with that. I'm so much better at shooting. Oh, I'm, I'm assuming you're <laughs> aiming. You've got your bow aiming, aiming right at, at the, the wall. Hole. Okay. Oh, at the, yeah. Matthew Ready Bain? to shoot as soon as I see. I am preparing a spell mm. that'll take a full action to cast, hoping to time it. Okay. I see something burst through. That's fine. And uh, Bertilda. Uh, I'm backing up a little bit just so that I can get a good <coughs> jump oh. when they Would come it be possible door. for me to readjust to the earlier configuration I had to fire a pot shot, drop the bow, and go? You've got time. Okay, yeah, I'd, I'd set it up that way. Okay. All right, all of a sudden, there is an eruption on both walls as rock and rubble is burst outwards. <laughs> and charging through the holes. Two huge beastagores come from each direction. These are the ones that have the big ram heads and the huge big um, curved horns. Clearly the larger of the beastmen um, as they've blasted for, they're basically the battering rams that have bulldozed their way through um, and they're going to charge straight into the proverbial fray. Mm. Could I have aimed and shot? Uh, and we're gonna, charging? yeah, we're gonna address all those here in just a <laughs> second. Don't panic. 
I'm uh, panicking, Gore. We're, we're <laughs> not to sound like I'm always sounding, but we're gonna die. Okay. Who needs, who needs the third arc of this story? You know. Yeah. <coughs> you know. All right. So. Every once in a while. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh god, it's a lot of them. All right. Um. So at this point, three have broken through from the north, and three from the west. Okay. So, um, they're kind of blasting into this initial turn blinded because they break through the wall their kind of heads are down they're shielded so i'm going to get all of you to roll initiative but for all intensive purposes you will all get one full round before they do <clears throat> oh that's not good that was a bad initiative for me okay matthew bain 53 cadil rail 62 Odette, 47. Bertilda, 30. Right now it goes backwards, that's right. And I've got a roll for my beasties. The beastie boys? Yeah. I mean, they don't really need turns, do they? Nah. Movement only. We'll, we'll just we'll just we'll just assume that they hit each round and be done with it. Oh no no never mind. Uh, don't like that. Uh, Guys, uh, we don't have to win. We just have to distract them for an hour. It's fine. Actually, no. Only about forty minutes. You're twenty minutes. Yeah, in. You're right. Oh yay, forty minutes. And, and and survive though. That's the hard part. Yeah, she won't be tired at all. She can help us. <laughs> She's like, oh, guys, I did it. What? What? <laughs> ah, not this again. And then she dies from a beast. I told y'all to leave me alone. All right, let me uh, put pages there. I'm pretty so sleepy. Remember. Oh, God, we have to roll those yet. Page 258. The prize, okay. the prize for beating this is a minus 40 roll. <laughs> hey, if you can stop. The uh, all right, where's my beast men? Here they are. And I'm really regretting not having the foresight to bring somebody else down here with us. <laughs> well, we, we, <coughs> and they're going on a 45. Damn. All right, so, um, here's how this is going to work. So, first of all. Cadarell, you have um, the initiative, so you get to act um, before anybody else does your turn. Mm -hmm. um, so, what do you want to do? I was going to drop my shot after, you know, getting a second to aim at the guy charging through and hopefully releasing it. Okay. I'd like to make my aimed shot at the guy directly in front of me as he's charging in, hopefully not directly, directly in front of me. Gotcha. Alrighty. And then, um, we'll go from there. I'll drop my bow afterwards. Alright, so take a shot. Aiming gives you a plus 10. Uh, it does indeed, yes. Okay. I hit him in the left arm. Alrighty. Um, you have armor piercing as well. <coughs> so here comes the damage. All right, nine with armor piercing, so it ignores one point of physical armor. Um, so it ignores that. And we have four. All right. And it's a four crit. No. <laughs> ah, uh, okay, the arrow, yeah, the arrow skims through, piercing through the hide armor that he has on his upper body. Um, leaving a little red line of blood visible. Um, Matthew Bain, you were preparing a spell to cast. What are you casting? Yeah, so I'm going to um, <clears throat> not channel because I do want to attack. So, uh, oh, I was going to channel, but then I we we getting outnumbered. All right, so I'm going to cast Reaping Scythe. Mm-hmm. Uh, Reap it. Is... 
Alright. Double I ones! <laughs> Don't say that. Why do y'all hate us? <laughs> yeah, Gore, why do you want me to, like, fail Joke so Joke Farmer said it, not me. I just repeated what he said. Yeah, Joke Farmer said Oh, oh my god, Gore! <clears throat> Well, I uh, well, you got, you I barely succeed. succeed, but you did get one. Uh, you did roll a one, so um, we'll power uh, check. Power yeah. Check. Okay, I'm not re-rolling that. I'll take the insanity. All right. I'm already insane. Gain an insanity point. You're on the way to the second one. Woo! <laughs> All right, but the spell does cast, um, which creates like a magical side in your hands, giving you a plus ten bonus to your weapon skill when you use it. Right. <coughs> um, it was an all-out attack a um, a full act ac an action. A full yes. Okay. So I'm just going to use the remaining half action to attack with it since I didn't channel. Okay. So no, I probably should have just let me just roll the actual weapon. Um, I am definitely re-rolling that. Okay. I'm because I want to hit these guys hard and fast. All right. There we go. Good deal. Oh, nice. All right. You struck him on the arm. Uh, how much damage does your side do? D10 plus five, so 13. Yeah. 13. It's a heavy hitter. As one point of armor and four, so we're taking five off of that. So you hit him for eight. Nice. Not a bad start. Oops. <laughs> I'm just throwing circles all over the. <laughs> just, you know, they're, they're good luck. Throwing shapes. They're good luck. Circles are good luck. They're even on all sides. <laughs> all right, old <I'll> dance. <laughs> all right, I would like to have aim and shoot at the big guy. At the same Came one through. that uh, Matthew Bain plugged it. Go ahead. Loose. Not your Matthew arrow. Bain. Uh, Matthew Bain, sorry. Uh, Cataract. Right? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, the just making else. sure. The better one. <laughs> the non-insane one. So that I wouldn't be weird at all. <laughs> if I get she crit, turns and shoots at the I'm getting an insanity. <laughs> okay, you also Whoa. hit the right arm. Peg those arms. Peg them. Uh, for seven. Oh. Okay. That's mostly cancelled, isn't it? I mostly, but it really still does some. Every bit counts. Okay, normally it would be their turn now, but because you all get a complete action for Tilda, you get to go next, and he came to you, which means if you don't move, you can make two attacks on this guy. Yeah. Take him down, Birdie. Birdie. <laughs> for Birdie. Ulrich. Be the tank you were born to be. A <laughs> solid blow to the right leg. <coughs> uh, for seven. Uh, and right. are you hitting the same one, right? Yeah. I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. The Fang of the Lioness deserves more. No. Oh. Okay, well, you hit him <laughs> once, but he's still up and still um, still coming. All right, now we start the round, the round proper. Um, so, Cadorel, you're up. Uh, this one is now toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, so it is your choice. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to attack <coughs> with my uh, weapon. It looks like it's a long dagger now. I don't know what happened to my little hand axe. It seems gone. Uh, it's still a hand axe. It's still a hand weapon, so it does the same. Okay. Yep. That's the best I can do because I don't. I can't. I'm not shooting a bow from here. That's insane. Uh, I need to be able to parry. Hopefully, maybe someday. Who knows? Oh yeah. So, All right. I, I miss. Swing a miss. Uh, fa are you fortune pointing it? Or are you saving those for probably more important things? <laughs> probably more important things. I don't do a lot of damage anyways. <laughs> no. All right, uh, Matthew Bain, you're upside, boy. Uh, all out attacking this time. Because I want to ensure... All right, I so the all out defense. attack gives you pluses to hit, but it means you cannot do any defensive shit. Which I don't know how to do anyway. So, so yep. So another. Ooh, yeah, hit. All right, hit the right that. leg. Good job. Nice, nice. For fourteen. And the right arm. And nine. All righty. Um, that's a good start. That's a seven point. Let me make sure my math is right. Um, nine. 
Yes, a seven point crit. Yes. Wow. To the oh, leg. That's a good. Leg that's a, uh, it, it says right arm. Oh, right. Take oh, right out his arm. arm. Sorry. Take it out. Remove the arm. A 74. Ooh, not the best, but you know. Uh, well, but it's still a seven, which gives you a crit and rating right of arm? eight. Yeah, that was his, his weapon arm, right? Yep. Uh, uh, he can't attack, basically. Oh, yeah, I think it's probably shield. a little worse than that. Um, all right, eight to the arm, an eight yeah, he crit. he could bleed out. Okay, oh, any, so any the beast man's stuff. arm is now a dangling mass of bloody meat. He's um, under sudden His weapon death. is dropped, and um, blood loss is such that he has a 20% chance of dying each round. If he takes another crit, he is considered dead. Good. Just keep doing that, Matthew Bain. Okay. <laughs> uh, all dead. You're Do it up. a couple more times. Okay, okay. so I can't... Yes, <laughs> if I shoot this one, he's in combat, right? He is in melee, so you have the minuses. So I'm going to shoot this one back here. <coughs> okay. So that I have a better chance of actually hitting. Yep. Oh, God. We're going to need reinforcements on our side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your, your side is the weak side for sure. Yeah. Because it's the it's the side that Bertilda mm. isn't. I'm re-rolling that. <laughs> okay. I want to re-roll it. All right. I would like to hit, please. Fortune points spent. Ah. Uh, it's still a miss. Okay, sorry. Okay, I feel that. It is their turn. I'm going to fill this too. Get my parry <laughs> ready. So does he bleed out maybe? <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Okay. Oh, so, oh, um, what fresh hell? That's the bad guy. That's Let's that's start. Twenty uh, percent uh, chance um, that he may die of blood loss. If this is twenty or below, please, the one in front of you, please, down. just once. Yeah! Oh, we got one. <laughs> um, we okay. finally got one. It's been two campaigns. This one <laughs> drops to the floor in a pool of his own blood. Don't get too excited. There's a bright out. wizard in the room. <laughs> I know. What's the chaos artifacts. Yeah. All right. Um, well, for those of you that have seen the wizard, the bright wizard, this does not look like him at all. Oh, okay. Um, oh. That's a little better. That doesn't make it any I mean, better. That means though. the bright wizard's not here yet. What is this guy? <laughs> or maybe oh. it means that the bright wizard went with the main force and is currently not here. Could be to your advantage. Oh, a bunch Odette of saving Sigmarians. the world. <laughs> Odette tries to save the world. Um, Not sure how successful we're going to be. Yeah, uh, Ked's going to die. Okay, again. it is their turn to start that. slugging. Um, well, the good news is uh, we'll, we'll start up here and we'll work our way around the nice way. Let's so, um, <laughs> we'll start with the people Bain. more likely to survive. Shit, okay. Okay, the first one will swing at you and will miss. Oh, the dead one will do no such me? thing. Um, <laughs> and the other will attack Bertilda. The good thing is when they attack Bertilda, hit and do... Uh, he will hit. Now, Bertilda, do you have the ability to parry because you have a shield. And you haven't done so yet. So... If you can make a successful weapon skill roll with your shield, you will parry that blow. Oh, and take I, I pushed parry. Yeah, that's. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, I did not succeed. Alrighty. In that case. <laughs> Very close. Um, yeah, but he's, he's going to deal like one damage. Alright, the blow will yeah, strike the. Um, on the left arm. Where you have nine toughness. <laughs> Or something. I don't know. I'm guessing. Yeah, no, it's nine like times about right. Nine. It's eight. <clears throat> it's eight. Uh, for seven. <laughs> so that actually doesn't even hurt you. I'm laughing about it, but I realize they have a plus four to kill me now, and I have two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, Catarell, you've got two of them. Mm -hmm. The first I'm one sorry. will swipe at you, and Ooh. fortunately will miss. Ooh. The second That's... one will swipe at you, and will also miss. Oh, good. Job, Catarell. You're um, small and Aldette, crafty. You are. You have one. <laughs> Duck it. Duck it, Aldette. <laughs> and he misses. So that was a very fortunate round for you guys. Um, this turn, the gentleman or woman 
in the long kind of robes with the hood did nothing other than step through the hole and look around like assessing the battlefield. All right, starting at the top of the next round, Cattle Rel. Um, well, you got two. What do you want to do? Wait, do I get, wait. What? Oh no, sorry, but Bertilda, you get to go first. <laughs> so Bertilda's turn is up. So what is it called? <coughs> Bertilda on, goes at the end, uh, she goes last in initiative, so but she didn't get to go last. She She's went last okay. time because you all went. What if you got two hits and killed this guy? Right now. Oh. Oh, that wasn't it. Birdie! Birdie! Oh, hit me. Hey! Head. Okay, headshot. I like that. Ulrich's Fury! <coughs> no. Ouch. Only Man, six. Oh, I am damn. not doing well with my damage rolls. That was a twin roll. You could reroll. Mm hmm. <coughs> I mean, I. I you guess. have a. You know what? What? An 80% chance of rolling better damage? Well, no, just That's, the damage. Yeah. Oh, I hit the wrong key. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so she, she's re-rolling the damage. Yeah, okay. okay. So instead, you do a twelve. And That's didn't you? A lot better. Didn't who had? Didn't Bertilda have a free? Oh a yeah. Free, a free fortune yeah, point. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bertilda has a free uh, fortune point from last. Time. <coughs> so well, you use your free yeah. one. So your free one is now gone. So now you have however many fortune points you normally would have still. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I used one last turn as well, so I'm Oh, okay, two. so you're down okay. only one, though, not two. Okay. Um, Twelve hit to the head. That's a pretty big hit to the head, wouldn't you not say? Not bad. Um, Unless these guys have really tough heads. No, yeah, they have kind of big, bony, horny heads. Um, mm. But they're not wearing actual armor, so hey. Um, all right, good headshot. Um, all right, now we go back to the top. Cadorill. Got one move and one move only, and that's try really hard and not be very good at it. <coughs> Here we go. Ooh, what? What? You hit! Yay! Oh yes. my god! Get All right, ready for hit to the left an arm. Embarrassingly cancelled damage right now. <laughs> ah, hey, it's not bad. It's something. It counts as two total, doesn't it? Like after all that. <laughs> <laughs> With no, actually, just three. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> uh, they've got one point of time. armor and a four yeah, toughness, three so they, times, they take off five. And each okay. time has been a couple, so yeah. he's probably You're getting close him. to a crit. He's, he's definitely he's taken some damage. Uh, Matthew Bain, what do you want to do? I'm going to do... Well, this is the final round. My Reaping Scythe is out. I would have to recast it, because it only lasts a couple of rounds. Uh -huh. I'm going to do a final all-out attack on the guy that Birdie is attacking because I want to thin the herd as much as possible. Okay, good tactic. Fair enough. Being a smart boy, you know, because I am a smart boy. <coughs> so, there's a hit. Oh, nice. That's a really good target number for you, too. Nice. Okay. It's only seven. Uh -huh. All right. You could reroll that. Yeah, do I it's want a two. to? You have a, you have a, again, I mean, a 80% I, I, chance of rolling better damage. And it's already I, <laughs> I don't need, it's my last fortune point, though. But I do want to deal with our side as fast as possible. So I am going to use my final fortune point. I try and convince everybody to use them as fast <gasps> as possible because then the stakes are worse at the end. There's, oh, what, there's what we're looking for. That was for. a... Oh, yeah. Fury! Oh. Okay, ah, um, so you did maximum damage. Roll for Ulrich Fury. I failed the Ulrich's Fury. Uh, right? Wait, well, did I fail? Well, wait. Fury oh, chest is 64. The target was 20, yes. Why is the target 20? I, I put in a 20 because I is put it an all out attack. Isn't it supposed to be the target 69? So the target number is... Yeah, wouldn't it be the original target number? Uh, it should I be. I forgot to put in the original target, target number. That'd be so, so it should is. be 69. So, so you succeeded. That's a success. Okay, so that's in that case, it is a success. Yes, so you get to add... An additional D10. Oh, it's been a while since we've actually D10. been in a combat in this you fight. So, so oh, you do 20, 20 points damage. of damage. Every time, Shagget. Um, with <laughs> Every time the right damage arm. already yeah. done. Uh, and you where did blow you someone up. Right arm? That's a 10 crit to the arm. <laughs> I sweep seize the, the, the arm. <laughs> I basically just 
Uh, 53. Okay, he died. Okay. Yeah, he, he did. Uh, he did, yeah, did. Killed in whatever spectacular and gore-drenched fashion you would like him oh, to be killed. The in. arm is not the only thing that gets lobbed off. It cleaves into his chest. So and through the arm, mostly through. The through. Chest. He gets a so, little stuck what you're telling me is Bertilda should be like, you got this out. right, Matthew Bain? It, it, <laughs> gets, it gets showered in beast, beast man blood. <laughs> yeah, it gets stuck, but then it disappears because it's <laughs> the end of that spell cast. So. That's great. It doesn't need to be stuck. I'd okay, let it go. That was, that was, that was a well-spent point. Um, so, uh, yeah, that definitely helped. All was right, all dead. Um, I am going to reload and shoot. Okay. I'm not going to aim because he's not in melee with anybody but me. Correct. It feels like a waste of time to aim and a waste of turn. Ready to take on Darkwing uh, Duck back going here? going to miss. <laughs> That's it. That's what I got. Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Ready to get dangerous. All right. It is their turn. Um, so this remaining beast man, he will swing at Matthew Bate. Oh, yeah. I forgot there was another guy over there. <laughs> uh, he will miss. All right. Um, beast man one for um, our friend Cadorel. Uh, also missed. Beastman 2 for Cattle Rail. Also missed. Damn. <gasps> Beastman for Aldet. And also missed. So Ooh. we only have one person to worry about now. <sighs> the sneaky boy. Um, uh, no. Who is I'm gonna poke him. waving his hand. Oh, Wait, no, no. Yeah. You, you cut that shit out right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, if you Hand spam waver. click him, spam Finger click him, wiggler. explode. <laughs> Danger, Will Roberts. Danger. I know, it's a different, I know it's a different company, but if Blizzard rules apply, if we spam click him, he'll explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how far away is Captain Spandex? Yeah, click him. Um, he's not that far. There's only a few yards back there. I mean, you can get to him. Um, he's just like, yes. After whatever he's about to do. <laughs> he's a good day to die. Right yes. away. Of course. Your command. I hate you. Please die. You know what? All right. Well, um, being that he has assessed the yep. area, yep. being <laughs> that he knows what he wishes to do. Uh -oh. um, mm. Uh -oh. Don't you do it. You... He is casting a spell called oh, of Lure of Chaos. No. Um, he no. has three magic points. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, and he is going to channel first. I love how Shag is the only one that knows what that means. <laughs> I know. Like, all of us are like, it means he has a pretty terrible. high chance. Of uh, he awesome. fails to channel. He fails to channel. All right. He uh -huh. needs... He's a level higher than me, Spook. That's what it means. He has one higher magic. Uh, and he needs day. a 16 to cast this spell. Mm. Um, 3d10. Here we go. Uh. Oh, oh, you no. suck. He waves his hand in a nimbus of dark magic. It counts as, um, <clears throat> as he kind of waves it in a arced circle and then turns both of his hands and angles them towards Matthew Bain. Oh, no, no. Don't make me have to kill him. <laughs> Matthew Bain, suddenly you are hit with a sickening wave of magical energies. I deserved it. Um, <laughs> it's my curse. As the wave of energy thwafts over you and begins to seep down into your very soul, you suddenly feel thoughts beginning to form in your head. As Is that new to you? <laughs> the other person seems to be imposing his will upon you. Uh, you need to make a successful willpower test. You're Come on, Jagger. Yeah. Whose fault is that? <coughs> mine, because, mine. hey, hey, you know, like, you get hit less. But. Well, it's a 50 50 shot, guys. We'll see ya. Now, now, I wait. Believe. I believe. Because I'm insane, shouldn't I get a bonus? Because I already <laughs> have sick shit thoughts in my or head. Or maybe right? because you're insane, you should get less. Because. You're no, not that's, so much that, in control that argument of your doesn't own hold willpower. Water. No, that's ridiculous. If there's anything I know about crazy people, is that they can fight other crazy people <laughs> without okay. a single regard. Here we go. 
Jacket, you're amazing. Ooh, you're incredible. Success. Okay. Um, okay. You still get control of your own character for now. Oh, for yes. now. <laughs> he doesn't get to that impose his to will upon you. Um, so you're not going to cast your scythe and charge Birdie. Um, which is good. Thank you. I appreciate you're it. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, yeah. Okay. He seems oh, very he's... disappointed when this happens. Yeah, because um, sick shit's going through my head already. You know, you can't, you can't mess with the <laughs> He takes a little, he like peers into it and is just like, you are currently fantasizing right, about whipping yourself. Um, you are, <laughs> he's like, yeah. Up, okay. Yeah, that well, could have been I'm... really bad for you guys. <laughs> yeah. So Ooh. I'm going after the shadow. <laughs> okay, so you're going to charge... Um, over the corpses uh, and straight to him. Okay, uh, you move, so you only get a single attack. Uh, and you will miss. miss. Just a little high. Okay. All right, back to the top of the round. Cattle well, rest. I'm in his face now, so. Yeah. I'm going in to continue face, in doing face. the thing I do where I swing and. I mean, miss you're getting this dude, Cat. The... You're getting him. I miss 60% of the time. What is happening? Yes. Again! Look at you chopping him down with this long, da long dagger. Well, somebody in the party's got to hit something because I can't. I can't either. It's okay. Oh, come oh, on. Come on. Uh, can I? I'm. Yeah. Yep. You're going to use yep. your point? I'm going to use it. Is that the last one? Uh, I, let me I haven't used one tonight, have I? Um... I rerolled once, didn't I? I don't think so. I don't think you've I don't used think one, you actually. No, I oh, think yeah, you're still I good. I think I only have one because of the time I got one taken away, <coughs> like, dying. Um, yeah. If you only so, have one... Do you only have one fate point? I started with two, and I think I died. So, yeah. So, yeah, well, you we only got have our fate one points fate back, point, though. Then. That means you no, only we got have one. No, no, but it was back. restored. So, yeah, I have two. So, you have two. two. Yeah. Okay, so, then I'm you using one of my two. Okay, yeah, then you've got one left after this. Okay, so here's the damage. Hey! Yes! That's so well, much better. Well worth spending to go from a... <laughs> from well, such a bad roll, 30, roll to a roll 35 better. or under again. All right, we've you possibly got, got Ulrich's Fury. If you can um, roll under it's 35. Come on! Yes! Ulrich's yes! <gasps> <laughs> right, Fury! Fury! Another oh, 20 points of damage. Beautiful woman, you. <laughs> um, I'm just arm. so talented. Oh Alrighty. my god! Um, what kind of crit is that? <laughs> yeah, that's a ten crit. That's a ten crit to the uh, right arm. Uh, yeah. Good job. We'll make a melee combatant out of you yet. Um, uh, a thirty-seven. Yeah, he is more than done. I believe. It's the same exact arm as Matthew Payne just did. <laughs> the literal same thing happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But it's not as pretty because it's not a scythe, right? I mean, it's uh, a little more no, no, ordinary. It's a little, it's a little long dagger, so I'm just like... And I'm just like... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job. He is down. Well done. Okay. Whoa. Uh, that, was, that was good. All debt. Yeah. You have one, uh, one still to deal with. I can't do anything. I'm gonna reload. No wait, I'm gonna reload and shoot. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, because you that didn't aim sense. last time. Don't don't I, I aim. don't I follow Catarell? Uh, yeah. I yes. Think. Sorry. Yes. Yep. Uh, I missed you. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Nat. <laughs> Just no, no. Yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah. You're wait up. Wait more. What do you want to do? Because you don't have <laughs> you don't have your I... scythe now. Right. I'm gonna channel, fail, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna magic dart the guy that old that Bertildo's attacking because he. Pressed his will against me, and I don't. I don't. He don't pressed play that. his will against me, and I did not consent. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm casting a magic dart. The way okay. he fell when he pressed his will against me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's We're going. Waiting. It's the going, dart, guys. The dart is. It's this very slow dart. Oh, it fails with the one again. No, it succeeds with <coughs> level one. God damn it! It succeeds, but you got a one. This willpower save is less important than the last willpower save. <laughs> I will forgive you for this willpower save. Oh, okay. Oh, but you succeed. Well it's done. It's the same. All right. Um, so you did an 11-point <laughs> magical dart. On the left arm. 
for his will touch to the per purple <laughs> show, me mage on this, show me on this butter right, covered dart <laughs> where his will touch to. all righty cool uh, now it is all debt's turn okay i'm just gonna reload and shoot get him all dead get him do the thing that I'm doing where you're stupid lucky for no reason. Damn. You've taken all of my luck. I don't know That's how what's you happening. did it. Oh, that, don't, don't feel all bad. Of my luck. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way. They're, the elves are zapping the elves, it all. The elves are bad luck for you. Really They're good luck for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's elves in a nutshell. Alrighty. I'm normally it is on their very turn. lucky. Okay. Um, with things looking a little worse, um, this time, our wizard is going to try a different spell. Uh, he attempts to channel first. No, fuck. And he will channel. Son of a bitch. Uh, means now <laughs> he only needs a 13 for this one to cast. Okay, you know. We just really hate and he is going to use all three of his magic points because he doesn't care about the consequences. <laughs> Of course he doesn't. He's already an asshole. Oh, and he did a good job. Oof. He failed. No, no that's the, he did it. To, he really needed oh, it. he needed a third. God damn it. I mean, yeah, he didn't need to channel. channel. He could have won anyway. He yeah. actually needed a 17 to cast, and he succeeded anyway. So, okay, he reads his hand in a nimbus of dark magic. Um, <coughs> as he does so, he kind of like casts his arm out. Um, and in a huge arcing pimp sweep. <laughs> he pimp slaps for tilt. Well, uh, I'll slap his hand. No, down. no, bad wizard. Um, basically, um, it hits both of us, right? It does hit both of you. It does armor piercing, so it ignores one, and it has a strength oh. of seven. Oof. So we add a d10 to it. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh. So seven plus eight is fifteen, and it has armor piercing, which means it ignores one point of any armor, and it hits you guys in the legs. Uh, so fifteen hit to the which leg? Uh, left leg for both of you. So well, that's. Uh, oh so you don't deduct, make me math. So basically, consider it. A 16 and deduct your armor and your toughness from it. <coughs> Jesus. Right? Oh. That hurt. Yeah, that really smirted. Alrighty. The dark hand of destruction be upon you. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> Bless it, Sigmar. <laughs> All right, uh, and he gets to keep it for three rounds. All right. Um, he gets to keep what? The spell. He doesn't have to recast it. He can just dish it out two more times. Oh fuck! It's kind that. of like it's kind of like Shaggit Scythe, but a little bit more nasty. It's like he's a better wizard. <clears throat> um, it, so he doesn't have to recast it, so he can just hit us each time. Uh, he has to make a willpower check. To be able to maintain it successfully. If he passes his willpower, he gets to hit you. Oh, this is bad. Um, yep. Um, so, uh... And... Kill him first? That's... Did I... Did I do him first or did I do him last? I think he was last. Was yeah. he after Bertilda or before... Well, did you, they did all, you they all go or? after all debt. Um... Okay, so then. <coughs> but I can't remember if I did voice. him before the Beastmen or if I did the Beastmen already. Let's check no. the receipts. You didn't. You, you didn't. didn't. No, you beastmen. haven't done everybody okay. else. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so in that case, then we've got the one Beastman here that's attacking Matthew Bane. Shit, okay. <laughs> and he misses. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> that's uh, really one bad. Beastman left that's fighting Cattlerell. He will miss. And the oh. one Beastman left fighting. All dead. Please don't hurt all dead. And he will also miss. Hey, oh, for what it's God. worth, the beastmen are sucking. Um, <laughs> their master is not. <laughs> okay, yeah, it, it is now takes... Bertilda's turn. Oh, this. Uh, you uh... might want to. You might want to smart this dude. The good news is you're there in melee with him now, so you get two attacks, and that's a. Yes. That's a 
All right, hit the left leg for 12. You do 12 Okay, damage. okay. So that does seven. I okay, really Bertilda. Bertilda's mad. Uh, she should be. <laughs> you do 24 damage in a Woo! turn. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Um, okay, he takes a three crit to the right arm. It's hard to wave fingers when you don't got hands, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that this character actually does vicious mockery better than the character you have that has vicious mockery. Well, yeah, he's you know he's just a, he's a nice lad. It's very it's difficult for him. Okay, so if he gets crit again, he dies. Uh, he's got a twenty percent chance of bleeding to death. Yep. And his and his turned he to a bloody ruin. So I and don't know uh, he, he can... can't use his right arm. So. Isn't that his swinging hand? Uh, <laughs> Is that his pimp hand? <laughs> probably. My, pimp my squeezing hand. arm. Why my squeezing arm? <laughs> All right. Um, oh, cool points for the invasion. Next, top members. of the next round, Cattle Rel. You're up. Oh, shit. You're up, I gotta, dear. I got to keep this up. I don't want people to think less of me. Um, Here goes this again. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matthew Bane, you still have this one nice, fresh, unscathed beast man. I know, but that pimp slap put me down to one wound. Ooh! Yeah. I've got seven, so... <laughs> so I am willing to risk it for the biscuit and magic dart the wizard okay. to get him out of the game. <coughs> Possibly taking a hit <coughs> for the beast man, who I think will probably hit next round. Hey. So I'm going to try to ensure that this shit works by channeling, okay? Yes. Uh, which it does. And then I'm going to do magic, magic dart, dart. Magic dart. With two magic characteristics. You got to do six or more damage. I'm doing the full kit and caboodle. The dart is a plus three to hit, so I just have to roll a three or higher on my dice to... Well, no, because it takes any damage, it's crit, right? Yeah, but he has to take damage, which means if it's not oh, enough right. to get through, through his armor. etheric armor and... Uh... Ooh, there's Ooh. Six. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, my it God. cast and does exactly one point past where you needed it to be. <laughs> um, <laughs> being that he would take a one point crit, yes. Oh, dies. my God. Oh. I don't even care that that was a kill still. <laughs> <laughs> All debt. Holy shit. <coughs> Reload and shoot this guy. It's like there's Not this ginormous beast man just swatting at old debt and she keeps like rolling between his legs and <laughs> <laughs> oh with a little short bow. I'm not hitting him, but I'm hey, keeping, but him, keeping distracted. him busy. Right. Um, okay. Uh, it has is it their been time. Uh, has it been 40 minutes yet? <laughs> no, it has not been 40 minutes. The combat round is Dude, it probably seconds. hasn't even been 20 minutes. No, I don't think it's been five. Like, <laughs> come on, guys. Six seconds God, each damn. turn. <laughs> we have not gone through even the most stressful five minutes All right, of my life. All right, <laughs> Yeah, here it goes. Here it goes. It's a hit. Okay, well... Uh, where does he damage. hit you? In the face! Not the face! <laughs> if he He's rolls below a, a certain nose. number, I can still be survive. Um, okay, the crit is a 14. Oh. Well, that obviously puts me to zero, Gore. And that was one. mean. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so uh, what are you on? How many How many negatives? Uh... Uh, can I can I tell you a lie and uh, you yeah. can, <laughs> but <laughs> no. Um, I had one wound. My armor was six, so so you take seven that off that. So seven. So, so you're taking crit. a six head crit. Yikes! Um, well, the good news is you get a free insanity point. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yay. Yay! We love those. And this is why Warhammer is nasty. <sighs> well, someone's. Probably using his fate point here. Here we go. Oh, I, I'm oh. definitely using my okay. fate point. Um, <laughs> I assume you want to use a fate point. Absolutely. So that's killed here's in whatever how spectacular this works, fashion. guys. Basically, you guys see the blade fly. So we're kind of cinematic it out. Matthew Bane 
blast the dart past the beast man, hitting the chaos wizard and knocking him backwards into the hole. At the same time, the beast man begins to swing. The blade rides all the way up the length of his arm to his neck. What you guys see is this blade just hit him right here. He goes flying backwards, crashes to the ground. He is out, not moving at all. Um, There is a huge pool of blood pooling around where he Mm. hit the ground. So I kind of feel like that I might have been the only one that saw that, but you would all definitely know about it. Uh, (laughs) For all intensive purposes, that looked like a fatal blow. All right, so you guys hear Bertilda screaming. <coughs> he is pissed. He took out the wizard, but the beast men took him out too. Matthew Bane lies in a pool of his own blood. Um, and the beast men ah! <laughs> screams and roars will. in triumph, <laughs> realizing I'm the only beast men to have pulled my weight today. <laughs> I get the, uh, I get the trophy for today. I get the uh, employee of the day certificate. Um, well, Gore, you better that enjoy hit was it for a second. that hit was so hard. I need to pee. It's <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, it's okay. Piss time, champ. Go pee. You know, it's not All right, thanks. <laughs> Go take a pee. All right. Um, Matthew Bain, uh, he's down. So next in line, it's Cadorell. Your one. Yeah. He swipes at, at you. He will also hit. Oh, I'm gonna parry. Uh, Hopefully. Hey! And you succeed what? by the skin what? of your Holy teeth crap. at the last minute as the, ah. as the huge blade comes crashing down. You're able to get your dagger, your long dagger into place. Actually, no, it's your buckler, isn't it? Get your yeah, buckler yeah. in place. You feel the shock and awe of the force of the blow on the buckler, but you avoid taking the damage. And last but not least, the last one swipes at Aldet. Who misses? Oh, goodness. <coughs> Alrighty. I'm still being super dodgy without having uh, any dodge skill. All right. Yeah, I'm turning to this asshole. All right. Um, he kind of goes and stands over his fresh kill, like lording over it, daring you to come on. Oh, you bitch. You moved away from me. Uh, you'd have to move to him either way, so. <coughs> All right. Um, let him have it. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Yeah, a little bit of revenge there. I like it. I love that when Bertilda actually gets mad about missing a bunch, she suddenly hits everything right. <laughs> really hard. All right. Uh, I don't you know run what in that is. And give him a body shot for 12. Shouting the entire time. Bastard. <laughs> okay. Uh, but he's still up. Um, oh, top of the round, Cadorell. Um, At this point, uh, the parry prevented some damage. Uh, my bow is on the ground. I probably can't pick it up and shoot this round. Uh, no. So I'm just going to keep slugging away. <coughs> hey, you've been doing pretty well in this hand-to-hand mess so far. There you what go. the Sweet. hell is happening, Gore? <laughs> you have right. stolen my luck. That's what is happening. <laughs> All right. Give him a good backhand with the blade. Um, on the right leg. Ten! Nice blow! <laughs> what is happening? Uh, this is old death The leg level is where luck. they don't have This is old death level well, luck. So, um, good job. Okay. Um, I'm just like, finally, the other one's out of the picture. I can shine. <laughs> <laughs> I am the superior. So, um, there is a rule <laughs> when you spend a fortune, a fate point, which is what you have spent. You may choose, if you wish, to get up on one wound. However, bear in mind that puts you at incredible risk of losing another one. Um, the way the fate point will work is if you choose not to do that, your character, while appears dead, is actually not dead. He is completely unconscious. Um, and if this combat is resolved, then when it is safe, your character will regain consciousness. 
Um, I would. Does he have to choose now, or can he be unconscious and then decide? To he can up? decide at any point during his unconsciousness if he says on his turn, "I'm I'm getting up." He can do so. Uh, but just bear in mind how close, how easy it is for you to lose yet another fate sure. point. So it is not something to do lightly. <laughs> okay, so at the moment, <coughs> Bertilda's engaging the one threat that's near me, right? I'm. Yep. Uh, yeah. That doesn't I absolutely... mean that the boss is not going to come into the play later. The oh, right situation for, that you've got sure. going on right now is not so dire that you need to risk losing yet another fate point. So I, I would agree. not do that. But so, out but of it... character, I'm saying stay down, check it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it seems like it was an epic enough hit. I'll stay out. I'll stay down. <laughs> yep. I pull. I pulled my weight. I'm happy Basically, with what, what I did. Basically, what happens is right as the blade glides down and catches your shoulder, the shoulder bone kind of flicks it up, and bam! You actually get caught by the flat side of the blade, which knocks you unconscious. Um, and the reason there's so much blood is just like it breaks it probably like busted a sure. busted a tooth or two and there's pissing blood out of your mouth but it looks like a nasty wound but as it turns out luck sure. saved your butt okay um all debt <laughs> i'm reloading and shooting <clears throat> okay <laughs> i will hit eventually steal his butter and run <coughs> steal his butter Nothing. and run okay no, um, it 100 could have it is their turn. Okay. Um, Bertilda, the Matthew Bane Slayer Ooh. will hit you unless you successfully parry. Successfully parry. Matthew Bane Slayer. <laughs> Matthew Blaine. I'm going right. to re-roll that. Okay. Because I can't risk getting too low or this isn't going to help me any. <sighs> oh. Are you kidding me? All right. Oh. Um, in that case... I am so confused. <laughs> like it's it's supposed to add ten to my parry. Does it do that? Do you have it set to add ten to the parry? I mean, it says it in qualities, but I don't know. It says well, defensive plus the text. ten. Let me look at the in the macro macro polo. No, it didn't add it in. It's not adding the ten. It's um, ten. Retconning, it should have been a success the first time. Let me see. I say that. Let me check. <coughs> um, where's your sheet? Let me look at your sheet. It's. I, I mean, I, I can't hand it to you. No, no. I, I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I'm talking to myself when I say that. Okay. <laughs> I feel that. I have a sign in my cubicle at work that says, if you hear me talking to myself, just ignore it. We're having a team mm. meeting. <laughs> and you clicked the parry button? Yeah. Okay, let me just... Uh... But it, it posts the same thing as my to hit. Yeah, like, well, the quality defensive is listed, but it's not factored in. Um... It's because you don't have the um, defensive button checked. Oh, okay. Oh, now it's checked. Okay. I just checked it. <laughs> okay, so the first roll would have been a 65 again. Because with that checked, when you hit parry, it's going to add that plus 10. So actually, yeah. the first one would have succeeded, so you did parry. Okay. So yeah. get your point back. You didn't spend shit. No, so you didn't spend a point. You actually did successfully. <laughs> well, I hadn't point. taken it off yet. Okay, when good I deal. was like, I need to ask that question because. Yeah. All right, um, Cadorel. That's me. Your beast man. He will miss Bertild. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Oldette. That's me again? Okay. <laughs> he will also miss. Okay. Nice. Um, which means it is now Bertilda's turn. To hit. <clears throat> 20 crit to the groin. Or the head. Ooh, right in the Holy face. Shit. Good shot. Uh, not tons of damage, but still some. Uh, and that one misses. All right. Um, yeah, he's worn down, uh, but he's still <laughs> there. Um, Cadorel, you're up. Uh, Beta, I'll probably get to use it again in a second when he swings at me again. <laughs> You're gonna pray, and I'm going to stay. All right. No, no damage. 
nothing. Matthew Bain nothing. is still down. Um, old debt. All right, here we go. This is the time. She's going to hit. Yeah, because I didn't, so it's your turn. I believe in you. <laughs> yes! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! You finally got him! I told you, you stole my luck. Yeah, pass it back at my turn, and I'll pass it back to you on your turn. Uh, for nine, okay. Oh. All right. I like how B Squad is doing kind of okay all of a sudden. <laughs> well, B Squad is not getting hit. Yeah. You're dodging That's the problem, really is, well. is when B Squad gets hit, B Squad goes down quick. Um, it's true. But, like, so far, we're not getting hit, so it's okay. All right. Uh, Beastman up. Um, Bertilda. That will hit. Uh, let's try and make another parry. Let's see if the parry works properly this time. Oh. I think it added it, though. It did. No, it, yeah. did, it did add it. It's just, it did add it. Yeah, there's the plus 10. So. All right. Show me what you, <coughs> you, you, you still have that? a reroll. I mean, uh, you can reroll just so you know. You, want. you will try it. Nice. And you parried. Okay. You would have failed fail before the defensive thing. check last time, you know. Yeah. So uh, you saved your bacon one more time with that. Um, okay, Cadorel. Man, combat is so different when you don't have the long pause between darts. Hold up. Do I get to attack now? <laughs> Uh, we gotta wait no, we gotta the finish. The they've gotta members. finish their turn first. Oh, I didn't realize they were attacked. No, that, was, was, yeah. that, attack. that was only you got attacked. All right, Caterell is a miss, and Bertilda. I mean, uh, Old Debt. I don't know why I keep calling her Bertilda. <laughs> you really <laughs> wanted to hit me. Old Debt. Oh no, he missed. Yes. <coughs> the All worst right. Possible um, miss. Now you can attack Bertilda. <laughs> Kill the guy. Help us out. Uh, Help us out after killing the guy. <laughs> Please that one the hit. There we go. There we Last go. This is shot for, four for 12. Wow. Not bad. Um, so let's see if we take off five, seven. All righty. Give him a three point crit. A what? Three point crit to the right arm. Right arm. <coughs> That's let's his swinging arm. Uh, all it did was knock out his ar his armor on that location. So unfortunately, okay. he didn't do any real crit damage, but he doesn't have a point of armor there. So uh, you'll do slightly more if you hit him there again. Okay, um, Cadorel. Well, you're uh, up. Before I roll this, um, uh, Nat, is there anything you'd like to say? You can have the luck back. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the luck. Oh, no. Oh, 100. Keep, no. keep your stupid Wow, luck. that was lying to your face. <laughs> she, yeah. she didn't pass it quick enough. <laughs> like, she didn't want you to have that shit at She's all. Like, sure, Sat. have the luck, Matt. <laughs> My luck. Not at all. It's because she was I like, asked. you can do it, Sat. You can do yeah, it. You know, uh, my heart okay. just keeps saying, you know, really uh, assert your needs. And uh, <laughs> this is what I get. Yeah, she had her fingers crossed behind her back. <laughs> see, yeah, see? Yeah. she kept it she kept the luck body shot oh that's a good shot too oh my god um, come on no i already killed mine so you know you're, all right. you're yeah, you've got him you've got him kind <laughs> well, of i had two hits this entire game so far <laughs> okay you, you've got it you've got him within striking distance now um it is their turn all right matilda <laughs> <laughs> Who are we actually still alive fighting? and he will miss you marginally Cadorel Ooh. The, Ooh. the number of hundreds wow, we've we are rolled so on the seven. he misses and, Bertil the uh, and all debts he misses you alright Bertilda nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay Bertie he's got zero hit points left uh, that's a Hi. miss <laughs> Oh no, oh, and so Bernie. is that. Oh, he's, he lives to fight another round. I am not rolling good tonight. All right, Cadorel, come on. Can last reroll too? Okay, Cadorel, you can have the luck for real this time. I feel like we're not at the big bed yet, so... You're probably right. <laughs> I think that's going to happen when she closes this because we have to roll a lot. Oh, uh, close. No. All we're right. going to kill all these guys. We're going to be like, yay! And then he's going to walk in and we're going to be like, no! <laughs> then the fire wizard will walk in and say, oh, I just oh, wait. Shit. I was listening to the entire thing because I just 
waited for you to get your ass. He just whoop. blows up the whole room. <laughs> yep. Nukes the room from orbit. Problem solved. Waltz um, in, grabs the dagger. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah. This is you know, nasty. Bane spits on the rest of us. Um, it is <laughs> Catarell Mist. Matthew Bane uh, is down all debt. I'm playing Alrighty. solitaire on the ground. Just like <laughs> Oh! Oh, a nice Ooh. shot in the Ooh. face. Ooh. That's what we need. Come on. A five. Oh, still uh, just a nick. Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna reroll with okay. the point and get better damage because that's the best use of my rerolls. Hmm. It's a good point. Good reroll. Hey, the rerolls on like, the damage have been paying off hit. for you guys. Yeah. They really it's have. already a hit, and I can only do okay, more. Okay, that's much better. So, so yep. all right, yep. Um, that's a one point crit to the on the head. head. One point headshot. To the Let's head. do it. If you roll, stab him in the eye. Okay, he is disorientated by the blow. He can only take a half action on his next turn. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh-huh. Okie dokie. Um, their turn. All right. Um, the Beastman engaged with Bertilda. Lunges forward once again and misses his mark. Um, the one fighting the at Cadorel swings in low at his elven foe and misses as well. Um, the one that is slightly disorientated isn't doing squat this turn. <coughs> um, which now means it's Bertilda's turn. Can she put this guy away? Body yes. shot. Yes. 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 Ten points of damage to the body. Um, That's a five nine. crit. Five gut. Five crit to the body. Okay. Come on. <laughs> uh, he is stunned. Uh, basically, you you winded One him D2. for. Roll a d10. One. Oh well, you stunned him for a round. You get another <laughs> attack, attack, right? Another attack and you still have attack. another attack, yes. And he's stunned, so. Uh, and you hit the right arm. Oh, oh, come, on. On. come on. Make some purchase. Buy some goods. Uh, <laughs> now, the but good he has no is armor. The right though. arm is where he had no armor, so that yeah. actually makes that a two crit, not a one crit. Two crit to the arm. Do it. Okay, his arm is demolished and he has a 20% chance of bleeding out. Yay. That's a horrible thing to come back And he's back got from sudden death. Okay. Yep. Uh, sudden death, which means if he takes another crit, he's auto killed. Okay, good deal. Um, <laughs> Long dagger. Catarill, you're up. Blessed Sigma, strike down this type foe. Oh. Ooh, it worked. Hey. I just need to be weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> here comes the damage. Uh, damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I, I can reroll it. Uh, I'm gonna. It's a guaranteed hit. It's my last reroll, and we need to get this done so right. that Matthew Bank can come back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> That's my fortune points used up. <coughs> Never mind. Never mind. Nothing, nothing. Uh, All debt. I'm doing the same thing. Okay, halfling extraordinaire. Uh, you missed. Woo! Nope. No, I hit. I hit. hit. It says 73. Oh, yeah. But that's I, was a I was looking at the dice. I should have been looking at the macro down here. Uh, you're correct. You did hit right arm, um, and he's on zero. So make it a good one. Oh, oh no! God, we just don't do enough five. damage. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have any rolls. No, nope, that's it. Okay, um, beast man. All right, this one we're gonna roll to see sudden death rules. If this is Die. twenty or lower, Die. he bleeds to death and gets to do nothing. If he bleeds to death, nope. Oh. nope. All right. <laughs> he's stunned though. Uh, he has stunned this round, so he can't do anything at all. Um, Except all right, Cadorel. Hmm. I'll get on. There's a miss. All dead. He can take half action. Um, he had half action last time. This is a uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's about to full this time. Still a miss. Uh, and he missed anyway. Sweet. Um, okay, Bertilda. 
Please, Matilda. Uh, you get plus. <laughs> he's stunned. So, um, yeah, I was about to say, you're going to get pluses to hit him anyway. All right, smacked him upside the head for a four crit. Which means he dies. Which means yes. he dies, because he's under sudden death rules. Yep. Good job. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. I stunned down. him again. He's <laughs> stunned to death. Spook. Just going to twist it. I stunned twist. him for infinite rounds. Buff it. Sort twist around it. and be like, how you does know, it feel? Bertilda, you can make a movement because you only attack once, right? Yep. I mean, went oh, down yeah. that attack, so. Help. How many squares can I get? Uh, these are They're each two yard. yards, so you can get to him. Ready for next time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Start of the next turn, Cattle Rel. Seeing you, ha seeing that you now have armored backup, that's gonna make you feel good. <laughs> yeah, but I might get lazy, you know. Yeah, I got lazy. All right. Um, all debt. Let's go again. Reload and shoot. Ooh, shot <laughs> him. That's what we gotta see. Oh, possible Ulrich Fury coming. I Make just run over here with, hey guys, what you doing? Matthew Bane's dead. <laughs> uh, 37 or below. Another, click the Ulrich Fury button. You want 37 no, or below? No, my let's boy. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No. Okay, Barely never mind. Know. Um, hey, it's still 13. Um, to the arm, which is still an eight-point crit. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, that's a kill. And Don't roll it. Most likely. That is a very likely Left kill. arm... An eight-point, you said? Yep. You oh. killed him whatever oh. spectacular fashion you want to kill him in. He is I, I want an arrow to the face. But... <laughs> Oh well, yeah. I knew. Like, the left like, arm. except it was the left arm. So. I know this is uh, the okay. Problem. So it hits him in the left hand, and his <laughs> hand just swings back and stabs him in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he puts his hand up to protect his face, and it goes straight through his hand <laughs> into his skull. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for making that work. <laughs> Leaving thinking, like, our last Ashitaka remaining beast man. Um. To well, think about what he's done. We're gonna give him a willpower check. Uh, trip or re willpower. Let's see. First of all, if he's got the balls to stay fighting, or if he's gonna run. Nope, he's staying in there. Um, so uh, he attacks once again towards Cadorel. He probably isn't aware. Oh, and he's gonna oh, hit you this time yeah, unless nice. you can parry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to parry it, and we're gonna see what happens. Maybe it'll be good. No, not this time. Alrighty. Just oh, barely. Close. Ooh, close. Oh. All right, Cad. Um, he hits you in the right leg. Oh. Well. Oh, the leg again, Cad. My kicking leg. Four. That's where I died a last time. mere five points of damage. Oh my God! It Tis worked. But a scratch. If I didn't buy the armor, I would have taken a wound. <laughs> 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 I would have had a. I would have had a bruise there for days. <laughs> that would have sucked. Oh man. All right, um, Bertilda, you're there. Uh, it swan doesn't miss. really matter. <laughs> uh, you got their last turn, though. You get two attacks. Oh. And Mr. Gin. Mr. Gin, like we did last summer. Caterell, you're up. Well, uh, let's just throw my extra. You've got it. You've got it. it. Come on. Oh. Woo. Uh, it's a hit. Right Ooh. arm. Uh, <laughs> didn't even feel it. <laughs> didn't feel it. Sorry. Um, old debt. If I shoot, I'm at negative Correct. 20. Or you can nip over there and have a stabby. <coughs> or you could load an aim. I think I'm going to load an aim. And then you'll have only a negative 10 next turn. Because then, yeah, I don't think I can hit it at 17. That just seems eh, a little you silly. You could, but... <laughs> okay. Um... Weirder things have happened. <laughs> All right, his turn. Uh, he swings at Cadorel once more, feeling like yeah. he can win this one. 
Oh, and he's going to hit you. God. Oh, what God. The hell? Here it comes. Uh, the parry. This is what should have been happening the whole fight. Find <laughs> hey. Ah, and he parried it. Hey. Ding. Good job. Good All righty. Um, shield, right? Bartilda. <laughs> uh, missed. Oh, come on. <laughs> this guy's squirrely. He's ducking and dodging a good bit. <laughs> oh, no. What? I'm yeah, he lucky. dodged a lot of wrenches in his... <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a dodgeball. Uh, sorry. Well, I guess that makes it time for the long dagger, yeah? Um, it is cattle rail. Yep, let's do it. We spent episodes, like, going around and what doing, like... What is this? Close, skill. but not quite. <laughs> Using the social <laughs> skills and everything, and Bertilda's like, I just need a fight. I just need a fight. And then we have a <laughs> fight, and she can't do anything. Um, you Odette, did so you much. leveled like three uh, people in this. I right, Odette, okay. you get to shoot this time, but uh, minus ten. only at minus ten because of your uh, aim. Watch this be it. it uh, really is is oh. so All right. I, I will reload so that I can aim and shoot next turn. Okay. Uh, he swats at uh, Catarella yet again, determined to get at least one kill oh from his God. side, and he misses. Um, it will be for ten. Oh God! I oh, hit. there Holy you go. Shit. That's a hit. Oh uh, my God! For ten. Um, where did you hit him? Right arm. So of course, it's the right arm. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's it's still always, up. It's always the freaking arm in this game. And I'm embarrassed. All I right. didn't do more damage in all of that time. Cadorel. Uh, <laughs> okay, he's down to only having a wound. Not that you no. can capitalize on it, my friend. All debt. Again, I'm going to aim and shoot. Okay. So minus 10. Mm. No. Nope. Okay. So close. So next time you can reload and aim. Yep. <coughs> um. All right. All of these would be fine if you guys weren't standing next to him. Cat I would have him twice already. He hits you again, Cat. Harry time. He tries. Um. You know, at this point, I think I'm just going to let him have it. Psych, I'm going to parry. It's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> oh, never mind. Actually, Oof. I suck. <laughs> Alrighty. You get struck in the body. The left arm. Oh, whole body thing. For a total six. of only six. Oh, ah, that, that's all negated. So you're, you're yep. Fortunately, uh, even though he's is... hitting you, he's not hurting you. You know, it's a back and forth. We keep doing this, you know? <sighs> we can't keep, we can't keep <laughs> doing this. All right. Bertilda hits him in the head. Just finish it off. Just uh, finish him. Okay, That's so it. we take four plus one's five, six. Three crit to the head. He's... And she's still got another shot to go as well. Uh, he's stunned for D10 round, so roll a D10. <laughs> it's a 10. It'll be funny. We can all just take turns missing. <laughs> Oh god, what did I just what first hell? Stop, stop. Okay, everybody just ignore this because I just screwed up this whole thing unless I can There we go. Huh? <laughs> I accidentally put a whole bunch of nonsense in the <laughs> roll box. Hmm. <coughs> uh oh, he's stunned for eight rounds. <laughs> and you got your backup swing. Uh, and you get another hit, so you get a hit with plus twenty anyway, so you hit him. Um for <laughs> only five. Wow, awesome, still <laughs> alive. Alive. Okay. Um, He's stunned. Cadorel, you get plus 20 to hit him. It's fine, guys. Just well on him now. Stunned is not the same as unconscious. He's basically like... That's oh, right. <laughs> Everybody bundles on him. Yeah, stab him to death. Or how much damage to the left arm? <laughs> Not we like the fobs. You just can't hurt him. You just can't <laughs> hurt him. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up my bow and beat uh, him with it. <laughs> with it. Just, All right, old gonna... Okay, I get a plus twenty. Uh, well, technically, you do get the plus twenty, but and also... a minus twenty. Well, oh, no, because he's not in combat. He is no that. longer considered in combat because he is stunned. See, the idea of the t the minus you get when you're shooting into melee is because both combatants are, like, moving around. Mm -hmm. 
He's not moving anywhere. They're just standing next to him. And he is, he's going like this. So you don't get any minuses. <laughs> We're playing pinata. So, it's so, it's so I get a full plus 20? You get the plus 20, yes. And if you aimed, you get another plus 10. So, uh... I can't well, aim you because I didn't have time. All right, well, you hit him anyway. Body shot, plugged him in the gut with an arrow. For <laughs> one, <a> crit. one crit. <laughs> They're, try they're trying to whittle this guy to pieces. <laughs> this is miserable. <laughs> How is this it. random beastman stronger than... Oh, God. Just, hey, luck, luck of the beastman. <laughs> the wind is knocked out of him, and he gets minus 20 penalty for a round. D doesn't matter. He's stunned. <laughs> All right, Bortilda. Born bless this beast of Bortilda, <laughs> kill this beastman, will you? Put him out of his misery. You're at plus 20 to hit. We're taunting this guy. So that's a hit. That's no, no, it's not. Plus 20. Uh -oh. Plus 20 to hit. 77. Okay. Shit. There we yes. go. Oh, no, wait, no, it rolled twice. <coughs> oh. Why okay. did it roll twice? I don't know. I don't know, know but, but the first one was nothing. five. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Uh, hit him again. Hit him again. Plus 20. <laughs> All right, you hit him in the gut. Come on. All right. I just hurt him. Three okay. crit to the body. Come on. I swear to God, if I stun him again. <laughs> but you're using the wrong side of your... There you go. You knocked out his armor this time. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, my God. As then Lee you just started to snore in the corner. What? Like, what is happening? Oh, God, so wait, this, this is the real boss, right? Like, this is the actual uh, apparently, boss. Apparently, this is one not of beast man anywhere. is the... When he finally dies, his mask is going to fall off and it's the bright wizard. You gotta <laughs> it's then that you notice he's got tattoos of Ulrich and Sigmar and all this other stuff all over him. And the mask falls off. There you go. All right. All right, long dagger guy. Uh, uh, and he has no body armor left. So, uh, here we go. Have a have a nice Yay! Night. There we go. Um seven point crit. No. Six point crit. Please don't roll it in the eighties. <laughs> is it six? I can't take it uh, anymore. Hang on. No, seven. It is seven. Sorry. Oh seven. I rolled it as a six. Uh but we'll take that, because that several internal organs are ruptured by a violence of the blow causing death in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Think <laughs> oh, right. I'm, just, I'm just imagining this like we're all trying to kill this guy. He's like just standing there taking all the hits and we can't get it. Holy like, <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Um, okay. I'm running over to Cad. Or not Cad, uh, Matthew Man. Well, I dead. did it. I mixed up our own characters. Is he dead? Is he fully dead? <laughs> okay. Um. So uh, you have to make a. Um, so you don't have first aid, do you? Or do you? I don't think any of us do. Yeah, we're not that good at party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, these were these were made for us. But we only this have was made for me by Cat, I thought. I'm gonna uh, drink a potion. I don't think any of us has first aid gore. Um uh, then uh he is unaware if you are alive or dead. Um you look dead. Uh of oh, yeah. course Officially you are out of danger, so you can choose to <laughs> mumble and, uh, and come around if you wish only if i hear more enemies coming will i make that determination I'm, i do not blame you i'm playing dead right now okay no i'm gonna slowly i want to make some noises like i don't deserve i don't to want live. to get on the cart <laughs> um yeah if i if he's if he's kind of making sounds of being alive uh, i'm going to move him away <coughs> from the ritual out of fear that that could go bad at any second. Okay. And I'm... I'm, I'm gonna, like, hide him behind this post it's here. It's at this point that... Gabrielle Marsner suddenly gets a really, really annoying itch behind her left ear and goes, Oh, No, damn it. no, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 24 hours! Oh, I almost made it! No. <laughs> okay, the perfect um, reason to go insane. <laughs> <laughs> somebody has got to make the final roll for her. It's Shaggett's turn. Well, it. I'm unconscious, so, yeah, but the you player know. Is talking to us right now. Um, so, Shaggett, for the final roll. Shaggett, oh. you just watched us roll for uh, how long, and you want to roll it? 29. I have to roll below 29. 29 or below, yep. 
Every failure gets her a free insanity How point. many insanities has she gotten so Four. far? Four. So she's getting an insanity. Oh, the odds are... 29. You can roll really you well right now. You can do it! You can do it! Look, I did pretty well at the beginning of this whole fight, so... You did. Come on. Under a 20, 29 or across. below? Uh, uh, what? Nope. Uh, that's five insanity points. He's so just six back. insanity points. Come on. Ooh, oh, so close. All right, we're on. Uh, so she's picking up. A, she's getting an insanity from this. Come on. Come on, Dice. No. Nope. That's two. Daggett's going to send her mental. <laughs> Three. Yeah. Uh, come on. Yay! Oh, Okay. So she'll just be about as insane as Matthew Bane. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Finally, at the God end damn. of 24 long hours, um, after f defending the circle and keeping the Beastmen and the Chaos Cultist at bay, <coughs> there is a sudden flash of purple and red light from the dagger. Uh, it kind of rises up from the center, kind of creating a, a ball of red and purple mist in the middle of the air above her. At this point, she holds out the mirror, and as the purple ball and the red, uh, the red mist and purple ball kind of descend and land onto the mirror, she flips the mirror upside down, and she flings it out of the circle. It goes. Matthew Bane stands the air and Matthew Bane. No, um, and <laughs> hits the wall. Uh, there's a massive, great big shattering as glass goes everywhere. And as it does so, you hear a weird, guttural, demonic no! As all of a sudden, it all just dissipates, um, and she kind of like slumps forward and. Um, Collapses on the circle. Oh, oh what, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and somehow summons another beast man. No, um, God. <laughs> my heart just fell out of my ass. <laughs> and after, after the amethyst, <laughs> magic my dissipates. heart just fell out of my ass. <laughs> That's the funniest. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, that's funny thing. All right. Oh, Spook, what a saying. Someone quote that, please. <laughs> Perfect. Right, Shaggett, you're responsible. For everything that just happened. Oh, for her insanity. Yeah, yeah. What, what did I give her? Well, what is she afflicted? We're about to find out. <laughs> All righty. My heart just fell out of my ass. <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right, give me a dice roll. D100, uh, Shaggy. It's your fault, so you roll it. 1D100. Let's do fault. it. Okay, 84. 84. Ooh. You say that like you know what it means. What does it yeah. mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the year I was born, if that means anything. Oh, um. Oh, she has what I have? have? No. No. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> Because it's exciting. Am I going to have to kill this woman? Okay. What is, what is the no? She comes around and she's like, and she's like shaking all over and breathing really heavy. I, I want to help drink. her, but I don't want to step I need a in drink. This. Does anybody have any anything to oh, drink? No. Oh, no. Water okay. skin, I think. Surely we do. It's right? a little stale, but I have I think a water we skin. We probably have water skins. Okay. Absolutely. Help um, me. She takes a, a swig and spits it out. And she says, My nerves are shot. I need something more medicinal. Oh, she wants alcohol. Y'all give her something. Uh... Oh, she's an alcoholic. <laughs> it's one drink. How can you make that determination? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. From the insanity. I was just saying Do we really not have alcohol? We gave oh, it all away. We were a floating brewery. <laughs> we <laughs> gave, someone gave it all away to one person. Shit. It was Matthew Bain who gave it to the guy that we were trying to schmooze. Uh, we do have yeah, a do open that. tab. Yeah, you forever. gave everything you had left. You know, because we have, we have an open tab forever at the burning table in. So yeah, but she wants we something now. 
But uh, yes, she has developed um, a terrible thirsting. Uh, and oh, yes, great. she has just acquired an incredibly unhealthy, deep, deep psychological addiction to alcohol. Uh, which it could be worse. She's now going to be an That's alcoholic true. wizard. Um, the problem is when it is in when it is manifested at this level, for every six months, um, she will lose strength, toughness, agility, willpower, and slowly it will consume her and turn her to <laughs> nothing, unless somehow she gets some help. Um, okay. Okay. So, question. Um... <sighs> So, Sigmar, right? Do they have, like, communal wine or any of that? Oh, I'm sure. The burning table is really Okay, close. that's where we need to take her then, because she can get some wine, and they can look at her and see if they can help her. Well, that's All right. Good point. Um, well, well you guys pick up are the dagger here. And make sure we don't lose the dagger. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, you that's guys the, are the all whole reason we did this. So. Yeah, right We now. just leave the dagger there. Um, yeah, so the burning table is right right across the river here. Um, the Temple no, of Sigmar. Nobody else is going to check that here. chaos worshipping asshole. I mean, I probably should have. Oh, no, for down. sure. Um, so, what do you guys want to do? Uh, do you want to go to Sigmar or do you want to take her back to the burning table inn? Uh, Sigmar, because I'm still pretty hurt, guys. Yeah, good point. Sigmar. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, she once she is there. Um, Initially, you know, they will give her some something stronger to kind of, like, calm her nerves, um, which she will consume all of, and then get rather angry and start yelling and get very, very verbally abusive when they cut her off. Um, Fine, just punch her in the face and knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> you could. Um, Non-fatal. Just put her in a headlock. And then she'll summon a huge scythe and start chopping you all to pieces. <laughs> but, um, uh, no. Um, and, yes, um, Sigmar, the Sigmarites are aware of what you were doing. So I'm assuming you're letting them know, oh, we did this, we succeeded, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, they will give you and tend to you um, as is necessary. Um, everybody will get um, a healing spell cast on them. So... Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, you know what? I ought to declare who I'm rolling for before I roll. That wouldn't be f so. Uh, uh, let's go. Let's go round. So, um, old debt. This is your healing spell. Do you need it? I do not. I didn't get hit. Uh, then, in that case, this is Matthew Baines. Um, you'll be healed for two. Yay! <laughs> um, Bertilda, you will get healed only for one. Apparently, that you've got neophyte priests. <laughs> Uh, and s three for a cattle rail. Thank you. I didn't <coughs> need it. But <laughs> um, if you want to stay here, they'll also administer first aid, so you'll get another one back tomorrow. Okay. Well, I would like to be. Yeah. I'm going to Ulrich's temple after this, so. Yeah, I want proper healing. Your stuff's crap. <laughs> I'm gonna go see. Well, I want to tell them what happened because they Friedrich. Mean... And we tell gotta, yeah, happened. we gotta tell everyone what happened, right? I mean. We got, yeah, I want to go to Lord Friedrich, though. And check in on all of the other groups and see if they're all right. Is I mean, I, when, when when we tell um, the Sigmarites what happened, I'm also going to tell them, look, we we didn't encounter the Bright Wizard. Okay. So he's probably still out there. And then I'm going to go to the Ulrichians. So tell them the same thing. All right. Tell them, like, fill them in. So you let them know, the um, other is anybody going to go and let Conrad Mesner know that the problem's solved? No, I'll fuck I mean, that guy. I'm going I would, to. I mean, I <laughs> would honestly. Absolutely. Yes, I would. I mean, even wounded as I am, I'd, I'd risk it. Okay. Might want to pin a memo to Gotrig. Let him know that we did it. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so wrap it up. Basically, you're gonna go and tell Lord Frederick. Um, mm -hmm. So of course, once you go and see Lord Frederick. He is going to be ecstatic um, at how he successful so well. he did. Um, yeah, of course. He helped he did destroy so a chaos artifact. Well. 
Yeah. Um, you know, for those of you that haven't in chat that haven't met Lord Frederick, so you tell him and he's like, uh, so we'll role play out the Lord Frederick part because um, it's some relevance <laughs> to it. So what are you telling him? How do you approach so, him? I am going to tell him, well, we did it. We were successful. And he's like, well, of course. I had no doubt. How did I we know. do it? How well, how did we succeed? Well, our rumors around town kept us safe for most of the night. So we were waiting and it was all quiet. And then, through the walls underground, there emerged dozens of beastmen. Uh, and did we battle them valiantly? Did we, we did. force them back? Well... We didn't force them back into the caves. We just killed them. Ah, but yes. there was a wizard that came out. There's a dozen per person. <laughs> ah, and remind me again how we dispatched the wizard. Well, With a the dart. wizard. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard was trying to hit everyone with one magic spell that went across the entire room. Ah, yes, it was terrifying, terrifying to behold. It was. Everyone was so hurt. <laughs> but but we overcame, didn't we? We overcame. We Everyone was able to, to rally together and hit the wizard, and ah, he crumbled. Yes, yes. I remember the feeling as the blow struck me. But yes. we are made of sterner stuff. We certainly are. I recall him falling, crumbling to the ground underneath. That's our exactly how that and our power. <laughs> ah, these tales. Ah, we are indeed tired, are we not? We are. We, we were, must. We were awake. We deserve so to rest and to Plot feast. <laughs> ah, yes. We must feast tomorrow, and and relish in our victory. We will, I, I will bring the rest of the party tomorrow so we can ah, celebrate yes. our victory. Let us rejoin once again and we can regale each other with the tales of our band's valiant, valiant efforts. I'm going to pull out the dagger so he can see the dagger now that it has been <coughs> dispelled of its curse essence. Okay. Just so he can like see and relish in the glory of the ah, dagger yes. that we succeeded. I remember, I remember how foul it looked before we removed all of the vile evil from it. <laughs> it looks, it looks so mundane now. It's hard to believe that it once possessed only, only hours ago. If it hadn't been for our valiant efforts, it possessed the pure substance of vile chaos. But we stopped it, didn't we? we? We did. We destroyed the entity. You were instrumental in destroying this. Ah, I was... I was born for this fight. Oh, yes. I cannot wait to tell the tale of how me, me and my chums, me and my valiant friends thwarted chaos here in the city of Altdorf. Here, here in this... Great, great city of trade. But yes, bring, bring the rest of my friends here tomorrow and we will feast. I will certainly do that. Okay. Um, so obviously you'll get um, the, you know, Sigmar and the Church of Ulrich will um, be ecstatically delighted at your efforts. They will thank you on behalf of the Empire and their individual religions, um, saying that um, it was such a valiant effort and they appreciate the risks and they're so glad that you all did not perish in your efforts. Um, who was going to go and see Conrad Mesner? What a uh, coincidence I'm happy <coughs> that happened too. <laughs> what are the odds? Um, I would... I mean, okay. Would go, yeah. Um, he will ask you um, to bring him the dagger. Uh, it is currently in possession of the little one. Uh, okay, he to see yeah, he'll basically Frederick. say, 
He understands, but please bring him the dagger as soon as possible. He, he wants to verify firsthand that the power within the dagger has been eradicated. Sure. Um, I will find <coughs> Odette and get her and bring her to Okay, I feel does like Odette have a problem with that? that or... already, but okay. <laughs> or no? No, she'll go begrudgingly. Okay. Um, once he verifies that there's no residue of chaos still in the dagger, he will tell you Items of such power can never truly be trusted again. I feel it would be safest to lock it back underneath in the catacombs under lock and key. Um, the decision, however, I will leave with you. Dude, so if you want to, to keep a very point. nasty, gnarly looking dagger, you can. Um, or you can give it's it to him. It's otherwise mundane at this point. I just worry that it <coughs> rebuilds its power if it's kept in close confines with other artifacts. Well, I mean, close confines with other artifacts all being closely guarded and held by the only people who know how to really deal with it. If we're bringing it around with us, it's more likely to pick up something in our travel, so I'd much rather it be somewhere safe. Um, I will leave it here with you if you will write us a letter stating that the artifact has been dealt with. And oh, um, that way we can return that back to the place from whence we came so they can know that we were successful in our mission. Absolutely. Well, that we're not dead would be... Yeah, he has no problem doing that at all. Yeah. I want like, yeah, so that whenever we return, it's like, yeah, we actually did what we said we did. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Also, I'm probably going to try and like... Forge it. Forge his signature a few times so that I can practice it on the way back. <clears throat> Just Never saying. hurts to have the signature of a wizard lord under your belt. <laughs> That's right. Look, ulterior motives here, I promise. It's going to be great. <laughs> okay. Um, well, in that case, then, um, for the most part, um, you have destroyed the second shard of Yay. Xanthrodoxus in Cardine. That is worth 200 experience points to each of you. Whoa. Woohoo! Um, you helped um, with the sanest of the rituals. Um, if you'd have gone with any of the other two, it would have only been worth 100 experience points. But because Ooh. you went with this one, it is worth 200 experience points. So that is 400 experience points you get. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> you did not destroy Wolfgang Shunat, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because by not confronting him, you actually made your final encounter considerably more doable. Um, and you did successfully defeat one of the cult's advances, so another 50. So you all add 450 EXP to your sheets. That puts us at 2080, doesn't it? <coughs> so, uh, 2180. 2180. Yeah, 2180. I can't count. But that's four full advances, right? Uh, four, four full, full advances. advances and almost to another one. Um, <coughs> so in Warhammer, basically you micro advance. You don't advance levels as such. You kind of just build on your character profile and then once you get to... Um, when you have completed everything, then you can advance to a different or um, more robust career. Hmm. Okay. I might want to advance my weapon skill. <laughs> <laughs> I have taken mine. All right. When next we continue with these characters... We will be doing the third and final part of this large campaign, which is the Forges of Nulm. Taking you to, you guessed it, another big city! Woohoo! Oh, this might be a Can we at question. least get there this time? Like, take some time <laughs> traveling? Maybe take the long route? Straight it's a little different. Do, you do remember what happened when you <coughs> traveled here, right? Straight makes <coughs> you do more damage. Oh, boys, we can handle it now. 
Um, kind you of. Sass, running yeah. from yes. this man. <laughs> Thank you. But by values of ten. So, if your strength bonus is thirty-three, you only deal plus three damage. When it becomes forty, or between become... 40, 40 and forty-nine, it becomes four, and so on and so forth. Yes. Mm-hmm. Look at his agility. Uh... Dodging stuff. Uh, initiative. Willpower is always good. Yes, I use two of my four advancements on those to get as high as I can. Yeah, but I have one advancement in willpower that I can take, but it's not going to make me go up any. (laughs) I mean, I will have to take it eventually, but... Okay, we'll go with agility. All good things. Max out my wounds. (laughs) Alright, so I need one in willpower... And then I have to start taking other stuff. I See, maxed my wounds finally. And I seasoned, took another willpower and fellowship. Was it seasoned traveler in wrestling? Yeah, if you've got any skills, don't forget there's skills you can pick up as well. Academic knowledge. Miss Bertilda needs that, right? Well, since strategy Correct, tactic. Pepper. Yeah, basically 100 EXP will buy you a um, buy you a 5% if it's a percentage base, it'll buy you a single digit if it's digit based, like wounds or attacks, um, or it will buy you a skill. Okay, so I have two talents and then a skill. I don't know if, I mean, do you need to start doing the other skills as well? Is that something that you have to do before you can So do you have to complete all of the required skills, but if there is a choice of one or the other, you only have to get one. But you are encouraged and entirely allowed to get the others. <clears throat> oh, I, I was talking about like, like your basic skills and your advanced skills. Um, yeah, you'll have, so like, for example, if you go to your skills tab, these are going to go up as your stats go up, right? Mm -hmm. But some of them, like the advanced skills, you actually have to pick up the skill to be able to have it. Otherwise, you only get like, you know, like you've got dodge blow, so you have a 30 in dodge blow because you've got it trained. But the others, you don't have trains, so you don't have anything in those. Uh, we should probably stop by that green wizard and let him know that, like, we don't need his help. Oh, we would have told everybody. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah. So I see it's, it has little check boxes that say advance beside some of these skill names. Does that do anything? Yes. <laughs> that's how you know that you've got you've had the skill under basic <coughs> skills under basic skills yeah uh, out beside basic skills there are advanced boxes are you <coughs> able to take advancements in those um so yes and no it depends because you'll have the opportunity sometimes to take skills multiple times And each time you pick up a skill and become trained in it. So, like, if you're trained in gossip, right? Mm -hmm. If you get the opportunity to pick up, to be trained in gossip again, you click an advancement on here, and that just gives you additional pluses. But if you look at your skills list for your career, your advancement, it should tell you what... um, so if you uh, look for sergeant, then here's a list of all the career skills that you're required to have. Mm-hmm. So any of those that you already have, uh, you can ignore. Any of those that you don't have, you have to get. And the I same, see. and the okay. same with your talents. 
Yeah, pre Prepper, basically, oh. you can double up your training. It, there's a tab that says plus one. It's another plus ten. Yep. You can technically do that, too. Okay, so, for example, I don't... Damn it. I have Intimidate under Career Skills under Sergeant, but I don't have Trained beside that, so I have to take that. Um, oh. If you have not yet had the Intimidate skill for Sergeant, you need to have it, yes. Okay. But if she already does, and she takes the other it, exit... It, but if you've already had it, and you take it again, you get to put one of those check marks on it, which gives you an additional I plus see, 10 on it. I see, But there's still the base requirements met. So I mean, correct. you have it with a new class. Yeah. yeah. It just gives you the option, if you get the choice to take a skill multiple times, it gives you a chance to improve that skill beyond you know, the, the basics. So, like, the way the sheet works is anything on this sheet here that says talents or skills are things you've had, right? Mm -hmm. And then what's on the advancement tab are the ones that you need to complete this skill. So, basically, each time you take either a talent or a skill from that advancement, you're going to add it to either the talents or skills on this page. <coughs> if that makes sense. So does it, the same apply for advanced skill? Like if I have dodge blow and that's uh, listed under... So dodge blow, if you can take it again, um, if you've already bought it. So like right now, you don't... It doesn't... Like you, do, you have under skills... Okay, so, yeah, so where... Because you, you already have Dodge Blow, right? Mm-hmm. So Dodge Blow should be listed on your Career Skills tab over here, like where it says Skills. Because <coughs> you've got Dodge Blow here. Which is from... Oh, that's no, that's for the career you're. That's for other careers, right? I had Dodge Blow as a mercenary. Okay, yeah. And so you don't have any of those filled in here? Yeah, I, didn't, no, I don't have anything filled in under mercenary for some reason. Right, okay. So if you also. But see, Sergeant, you could have taken Dodge Blow as well. So if you already had Dodge Blow for mercenary and you mm -hmm. take Dodge Blow again, you spend the points. You're not required to. Because you've already got the skill, so you can skip it if you want. But if you choose to spend another hundred on it, then you get to put a check mark out next to your dodge blow, which will give you an additional plus ten dodge blow. Hmm. I see. Which would be cool as hell. But you can take any advance. Any a skill can be advanced up to three times. And that's how that works. Uh, Prepper, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, you can take double training. Or, in some cases, even triple training. And the way it's represented is if your first job required you to do this and you continue to study doing it during your second job, then you get even well, more. Okay, and... now I clicked it and it didn't... Let's see. Let's try that again. On perception... Nope. Okay. So checking it doesn't do anything. I have to change something. Uh, that's, yeah, the, 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 this is just a checkbox so you know. Um, you would add an additional 10 under miscellaneous. So would it be plus 10%? Yes. So I can just do this instead of trained? Yeah, if you put another point in, it, instead of trained, you do plus 10. Yeah. Because that's the other point. That's it. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you click on where it says <coughs> trained, it has the option to change it to 10, plus 10%, plus 10 percent Correct. Correct. That's it. So, if you look at your skills, like charm, you don't have trained, right? So, you only right. have half whatever your basic fellowship is to succeed at that. If you're trained, you get to have whatever your actual stat is. And then if you add an additional plus 10 then you'll notice that it raised your perception from the total went from 37 to 47. 
Right. The checkbox on the side here is just for you to know the, how many times you've taken it. That doesn't actually alter the macro on the sheet. Right. Okay, I've taken all four of mine then. There you go. Same. Well, cool. Right, so, I went up one wound. Um, Same. My strength <coughs> went up, my agility went up. I think all of us were like, mm, let's take a wound because we almost died. I, I didn't. Yeah. I Taking a night sass. My night sass. Uh, just so you guys know, <laughs> Thursday, um, this is bringing this campaign to an end. So the next Thursday campaign that starts um, is Cyberpunk Red. So uh, we're pushing on into the Cyberpunk universe for our next Thursday game. Um we are doing a session zero this Thursday. We have not yet officially decided if we're going to stream it or we're not going to stream it. We will let you know after we've had a chat. Um, pros and cons. So, um, I'm not opposed to streaming it. Um, but there's going to be a lot of discussion and a lot of... Um, Figuring things out and explaining a brand new game to a bunch of people that have never played it before. So I don't know how entertaining it's going to be um, to, for you to watch it. But um, that doesn't mean we won't stream it. <laughs> Just so you can hang out with mm -hmm. us. So, alright guys, well, uh, those of you heading to bed, good nigget. <laughs> <Nice. coughs> um, and that actually brings us right to the end of our, sh our scheduled allotted time. It's 10.30, so um, cool beans. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. Um, we've had fun with this little jaunt of Warhammer. Uh, and um, as I said, you know, Thursdays we like to play different games. Um, we're going to give Warhammer and Fantasy a little bit of a rake. And we're going to move on to some science fiction-y, punky stuff. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, uh, Semarif, absolutely. So, um, and I agree, Beta DM. That was one. Of, I even thought about doing a precursor. If we didn't, if we didn't do a session zero, I was thinking about doing like a precursor for chat to explain the lore of the the lore of Cyberpunk and what the universe is like, and kind of give everybody a bit of a background. So we may uh, do that as well as create characters on Thursday. We'll see. So there we go. As long as the players are comfortable. Hashing it all out on chat or, or in front of chat. I don't care. So the only thing is we're going to be doing a lot of individual interactions. So I don't know how much, you know, I, I don't want to be rude <laughs> and ignore chat. So, um, but it will be more about building stuff for the players and less about streaming it for, for you guys. So um, session zero is for the players, but we don't necessarily have a problem having an open window for you guys to peer in through. So we'll see. Alrighty, y'all. Well, uh, thanks so much for everybody to hang out with us. We've enjoyed it. Thanks for um, the cheer, Prepper. Thanks for our follows. Thanks for our subs and resubs. We've had a blast. Hope you did too. We will hopefully see you this Thursday. Um, if we do, it'll be that session zero. Um, and then after that, um, this upcoming Monday, we'll be back to um, a relative curse of Strahd. And then into Cyberpunk Red the following Thursday. Y'all take care now. Bye! Bye!